Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight, we are going to be continuing our Tears of the Kingdom adventures. Last time, we just, we spent five hours getting off of the Great Sky Island completely, like, annihilating the Great Plateau. Like, the Great Plateau, you can do that very fast. It's very simple. This one, it's almost like they knew. It's like, eh, you you played Breath of the Wild, didn't you? We're going to throw something harder at you. But I do like that. I like that it had, like, a, a lot of presence to it. So that it isn't just, like, quick and easy. But at the same time, it kind of worked for Breath of the Wild. But I really appreciate that this one is, like, a bit more in-depth. But, uh... One thing, like, uh, I was going to do is at first I was like, oh, what should I do? Uh, if the carryover doesn't work, like, I know it's just the horse for this one, but what about the rest of the carryover? Well, I decided to test something. Oh. Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with us. Now, how can I help you? Register a horse. Oh, very original. The invisible horse routine. I'm crying invisible tears of mirth of the kingdom. How about you stop kidding around and go catch a horse? Approach from behind, then hop on. Got that, funny guy? Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. Apologies. I'll go ahead and register any horse you had before. Just a moment. Anything else? And we have Castle. It doesn't look like he has his... Uh, like, ancient bridle and saddle, but he still has the recolored mane we gave him, so it's nice to know that he's still here, which means it did carry over all my save data. So, yay! I was mostly because, uh, because, like, uh, oh, all that good water is polluted by some kind of mysterious muck. As far as I know, no one knows where it came from. It's terrible for the Zora, of course, being water folk. I'm not sure how they'll manage. Zora's domain is to the east past the Lineru wetlands. I used to recommend it to tourists, but, well... Huh, okay. Wasn't expecting there to be stories, so something is freaky out there to the Lineru wetlands. But, yeah, because, uh, I did look up, like, oh, is there anything weird with the save migration? And apparently, like, one article said that some people were running into an issue where their, like, uh, save wasn't being recognized. But, luckily for me, I guess it did. I just needed to activate it. Hello there, sir. Hmm? Need something? Better make it quick. I'm supposed to be on my way to Ring Ruins in Kakariko Village. The Ring Ruins? Ah. You probably know that Fallen Zonai... Ruins have been all o uh, been found all over the world since the upheaval. So we had the calamity, now we have the upheaval. Well, the ones at Kakariko Village have been dubbed the Ring Ruins, owing to their distinctive circular shapes. There's also some stone slabs there with words like Sage and Demon King carved in Zonai script. I wonder who is able to read Zonai oh. script. The leader of our team, the best in the world at deciphering Zonai script, is heading up the investigation in person. It's all very, very exciting. I just wish the place was a little easier to get to. I guess, like, because uh, I think there's, like, one outpost kind of in that direction that we're going to check out, and then we're I think we should head to Kakringo Village. I completely forgot. Ah. Uh. If we want to get to Kakariko Village, just head toward that ring-shaped thing in the distance. That's one of the ring ruins. Lots of folk have been talking about that spot in our research team as well as the public. Fair warning, you'll run into some tourists. They've been flocking to the ruins lately. Oh. I should get going too. My fellow researchers will start wondering where <laughs> I am. Kakariko Village is hidden away in a mountain range. Even with a landmark to go by, I worry I'll get lost. Maybe I'll run through the directions a few more times in my head. Very interesting. Hello? Uh, I've had it with cleaning the stable. There has to be some interesting news. Oh? Oh, they even have an actual newspaper. Just realized that. 
Matriarch revitalizes Cake Kakariko Village. Zonai survey team's eyes turn to its ring ruins. Kakariko Village has become the latest tourist destination as interest in the, ru uh, as interest in the ring ruins keeps on Aww. growing. Mm, I wondered what would happen when a big old ruin like that came out of nowhere. The chief must be hard at work if it got popular enough to be featured in the paper. Should probably, like, wander around, talk to everybody. Because that's one thing that I did say that I would do. Some splash fruit, which should be handy for taking out fire, if there's any wildfires raging around. Amaranth. Well, Alright, can raise my defense, that's nice. Hello there, child. I hope they stay away. Oh. Well, good morning, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Word to the wise, even though it's daytime, I'd stay away from the forest near here if I were you. I've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest, I mean, a for, forestress, I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's B-A-D bad news, and it brought some other monsters with it. And look! <sighs> I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... What if the monster, monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep, I can barely talk. Aww. I thought maybe I'd try to sneak attack from behind, you know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave. I'll keep wishing, for, but for now, you really should steer clear of that forest. All right, I'll definitely come back and do that. I was going to head into that forest because I saw, like, uh, some boxes, but I guess we'll avoid that. And, uh, the cart disappeared. I thought that cart was gonna stay around, but I guess not. Although, I guess I could go ahead there for... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Although... That, that way? More that way. Probably did miss the outpost by a fair bit. Gonna just gather things while I go. Hmm. Oh, I saw a shadow. I wonder. Alright, so that's one way to get to... A sky island, I guess. Well, uh, I'll save and I'll check it out, I guess. Take that as an opportunity. Well, because it's just this one. What? Oh, those are monsters. That's not good. Alright, they're not scary at least. Large zone I charge. Uh now the bad the downside is. I guess if something falls from a sky island that you kill, you automatically get it. That's nice. And these are very heavy uh, attack powers, which is nice. Uh, now the quest. Well, I guess I could try and leap into the water below. But I don't think I'll make it. Hmm. Well, yellow. Need to know that there's some interesting places. And I survived! Truly a miracle. What I was wondering was like, because as we were going up, I was just like, huh, I wonder why the birds have like enemy notification, like, oh, we noticed you things. That's weird. And then I look as like, that's a very oddly shaped bird. I don't think that's a bird. 
And I'll go back to Ultra Hand, because Ultra Hand is good. Hmm, there's a fire coming out of a well. Never mind, that is a ruin. Still, it is coming from the well. Oh, well, what the hell is that? And a bloopy? Dang it. I only got one. But at least I got one. Oh, I actually have to click to pick him up? Or I can click to pick him up. No, I actually have to click. That's interesting. That is new. And now I shall talk to you. Maybe head down there, grab that. Hello? Well, what am I doing? These things aren't that scary. Let's see. What do I want to use? You, because you've been used before. <laughs> I do miss my balls. They were very handy. Be gone. Now we'll talk to this guy, learn whatever the hell that is. In fact, that was very blindingly blight. Blindingly blight? What the hell? Edit pin. I shall mark that as monster. So that we can come back and do that. Nice chin there. These booble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? What's well, a booble frog? <gasps> ah! Don't scare me like that! My poor heart can't take it! <clears throat> eh? Are you by chance looking for booble frogs too? That's right. Oh. Aha, I knew it! They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called booble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls, odd stuff. Ah. And those two folks at Woodland Steeple in North East Elden, curious pair, very strange, maybe a little off, they're looking for something the booble frogs drop. They asked me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you too? Ah. They offered treasure in exchange. Good treasure, it was a sweet deal. At least, it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. The treasure was awfully appealing, though. All right, so... I need to note in... Elden, the a certain da da da. Why is there smoke coming from a well? Oh, because we can go down. I don't remember. Well, I guess since uh, like it's been a decent long time, I guess people have been able to revitalize. Um. Okay, this pl this feels very very oblivion. I guess I can connect that back. The ladder. Yeah, I can't do that because they're technically alive. Glowing cave fish. When consumed, its light enzyme can make one's body glow. Very interesting. <laughs> And that's a creature. Hmm. You know what? Oh, I probably I won't be able to pick it up. Darn. I was afraid that it... Oh, but maybe. Since it's dead, it becomes material. Can I pick it out? Nope. Darn. New cave creature, and I killed it. Sticky lizard. It could be an assist for a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. Did they? Did they make it? Oh, boy! Hell yeah, I'll take that. Hello. Oh, and I missed another skittery scurry. Darn. I'll need to be on the lookout for those, then. Oh my gosh, already! I've waited a long time for someone to come rescue me! It's my own darn fault! I'm here, though, dropped... It's my own darn fault I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. Uh... I even had a ladder! But yeah, it broke when I tried to climb up. Uh... 
Oh, then on top of that, my best buddy I go everywhere with should have noticed, but uh, he didn't. He kept go right going. Ha. Come on, man, really? Sorry, not your fault. Uh, can't tell you how happy I am that you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Uh. I mean, the broken part is still here, so we technically could fix it if the dang ladder weren't too high up to reach. Don't worry, dude. <laughs> All right, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be Lucy Goosey. Ta da! What? Ah. I fixed it. Oh, I thought he was gonna. Ah. Huh? Wait, it's fixed? Did you do that? You're incredible! Now let's get out of here already! <laughs> Man, you saved me! I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life, seriously. I really owe you. So here, take this. I'll take that indeed. Oh. I'm gonna catch up with my buddy Jora and head to Foothill Stable. See if we can apply the zone I serve I team. Ah. See you around, thanks again. And hey, don't go falling in any wells, okay? That was cool. That was very cool. I like that. Oh, I almost forgot there is a I can't believe it took me this long to find a Hylian Shroom. That? Oh. I couldn't have made it. Alright, but we're gonna head this- Oh! The wells are even marked! That's cool. On the mini-map there. Very neat. Hmm. So there's like a destroyed caravan and a single Azolfos that I can see. Huh. What's this? Like a make your own... Oh, make your own wagon? Hyrule Restoration Materials. Use this materials cache for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Oh, that's cool. Hudson exp expanding out here. We'll have to go find Terrytown. They better... <laughs> Terrytown better be here. Better be untouched. Better be rocking shit. Uh, if I just uh, yoink it, will they run after me? Your, your, uh, he, your hive is mine. Goodbye! <laughs> oh, well that's bad. Uh, but can, like uh, the warrior dudes have... Landed down here from YouTube chat. Hello, Felda Zelda fans. Hello, hello indeed. Huh. So yeah, it does seem like, well, if wheels over there, we could create a thing, but very interesting. Just lots of construction materials. I don't think I have the stamina to get up there. Hmm. I was able to take all them on. I was able to one-shot the flying thing. I was warned that these outposts are kind of scary, though, so... Should probably avoid... I'm, now I wonder if I could even make it up there. <laughs> My, I'm just so much going around seeing things, being like, Oh, can I go there? I probably don't have the stamina, but could I? It's just so interesting, because of how different this all looks. Oh, um... Are those... Is that a month? Like, I saw horses. It was just like, oh, is that a normal thing? Oh, just wild horses. And yeah, that, uh, I'm fairly certain that is the monster base that I went by. There's some explodey barrels I could exploit. Arrow ones are generally not that terrible. Let's save and try and take them on. From you to chat. I'm still stuck on the third shrine. How do you get through the ice? That's my biggest problem. I'm trying to think. The ice. If you mean, like, uh, getting to the third shrine, basically, 
like, uh, it's, you want to make a good few amount of, uh, like, the warming foods, and then up there somewhere on, like, the, the first area that you'll really wander around in the snow, there are the, uh, like, snow pants that are the warm doublet of this game. I, it is very much more, like, difficult compared to Breath of the Wild, gotta say. But you should be able to make it through. Okay, let's see. I, do I have some fire? Oh, I totally missed that. Mine. But yeah, basically... For the cold area, it's definitely you. You want to not waste your your. What's the word? My brain is just completely smoked on the word, but you don't want to waste your peppers. Too bad. I'm stuck there ever since I got the game, which is like a month or two ago. Yeesh. Let's see, don't think uh. What's, is there any... Well, this one's about to break, but it, I don't want to change it out for... Because hmm. I could make it stronger. Let's see. I'll swap you out. But yeah, if you're stuck where I think you are, I do believe... Well, I mean, if there's just wooden sticks, I can... <laughs> So I should definitely use this sooner than later. Wait, if you're stuck where I think you are, there should be a treasure chest with the, like, uh, pants that I have around about, like, at the highest point of the first area, I do believe. Oh, wait, there's a shrine in there. There's so many shrines. Okay, because that's on the way to Kakariko. There's a shrine up there. And it's nearby a stable. I should definitely go do that. Try to avoid the monsters. Go do the shrine. And before I forget, we'll try to climb this. Well, I don't think I would be able to. <gasps> but maybe I can ascend. Oh, you're not supposed to climb the ice? There is a cave that you should be able to go through to get up on top of the cold area. <laughs> Completely forgot because I didn't I didn't try to climb the ice myself until I already got to the top and I was like, oh, is there a different way? And then discovered that you cannot climb ice. But yeah, definitely a reasonable, like, confusion. So far, this game is super cool. Hmm. But can I... I keep forgetting that's not the rune thing. Can I ascend? Oh, it's too far up, but... It's not the rune. Nope, nope, that's not a thing I can grab. But that is... Ooh, if I wanted to, I could have <laughs> yeeted a boulder at him. Cannot get up there. I almost forgot there were materials. I'm just running around in circles so excited about everything that's new. <laughs> How do you get more hearts? That is later in the tutorial where, similar to uh, Breath of the Wild, there should be... Like, oh, you do four shrines, you get the reward, and are able to pray at a goddess statue for hearts or stamina. Blue nightshade. Cook it to increase your stealth. <laughs> I'm still new. Completely understandable. <laughs> Especially Tears of the Kingdom. Because Tears of the Kingdom is, right off the bat, a decent bit more complicated. It definitely feels like they expected you to play... Breath of the Wild first, 
because the Breath of the Wild tutorial was a wee bit more straightforward. Just ever so slightly. And, like, more condensed and small. So while I, a veteran Breath of the Wild player, am like, oh boy, the Great Sky Island is a lot more complicated. I enjoy that. I can understand, like, a new player who might not have, like, uh, experience with, like, Breath of the Wild could very much find it confusing and weird. <laughs> I'm, like, past Kakariko Village in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> but yeah, it works exactly the same in Tears of the Kingdom in terms of getting health. Do four shrines, get the glowy orbs, trade them in for health and stamina. Elden's to the north. Hello there, who are you? Yeah. Nimbus. Are you going to fly Goku around, my thick-chinned friend? Hello, sir. <laughs> Pardon my query, but are you familiar with Elden? The region is famed for its enormous volcano, Death Mountain. The mountain can uh, guide you north straight to Elden. The lava once made it unbearably hot, but I hear it's more comfortable these days. Well, that's bad for the Gorons. Oh. The caves are still scorching, mind. Take care to prepare elixirs if you ever need to enter. Say, if you're going to Elden, how about you purchase ingredients for those elixirs now? I have a modest collection here. Ah. Welcome to Nimbus's Fine Goods. Please take a look at our carefully curated offerings. Ah. I was, I'm kind of disappointed it's not carefully curated collection. Hmm, fireproof lizard. <laughs> Guess it doesn't hurt to buy two. Money is no object. Ah. you to Jed, like where you talk to Impa for the Divine Beasts. That is decently early in Breath of the Wild. Keep Nemesis fine goods in mind for all your merchantile needs. Okay, we're gonna head into the forest because there is a shrine in there. My first land shrine, I think. Very interesting. Okay, so there is the big one. We'll go ahead and do this and then maybe sneak up on the Moblin. I really like how they made the new shrines. So different, but just similar enough. They're so good. So very good. Time flies. Monsters thrive at nighttime, as do other things. Ooh. Forward Force to Korok Shrine. All right, we need a ball. Ooh, kind of reflecty ceiling. All right. So I want to get the ball across. So these wheels are probably activated by being hit. I wonder. Can I... Nope, I cannot just lift it all the way up. That would have been amusing, but understandable. Attach. Alright. Let's go! Oh. Oh, damn it. Did not jump correctly. <laughs> Luckily, I can drag it back. Us, just in case. Huh. I do enjoy that, like, they wanted to go even crazier for things. Hmm.
Alright, one idea that I have is... Hmm. But I wonder what this is all for. Because, like, obviously there's that. Alright, I need to see. What happens if I hit you? Ah, oh, eh, I think I see. I think maybe? Huh. Hmm. I'm trying to think. So maybe the game wants me to put this tire onto this and then attach that to the tire so that it basically climbs these all the way up there, because I was thinking, I kind of want to see if my way would work, where I attach the ball up there, drag this all the way up, let it fall, reverse it, and run up there. Probably also wouldn't work, but I kind of want to see. Okay, then. Recall. Alright, now I just need to... Oh, darn. Almost. My plan almost would have worked. It was a thought. If I was a bit better, maybe. Alright, but now the plan is probably what it wants is... Like, uh... Let's see, probably something like that. Close, but needs a bit lower then. So yeah, actually needed to be a bit more even. But this is cool. The power of physics. This is cool. This is so cool. This is just so amazing. <laughs> Physics puzzles, my dude. All right. Huh. All right, I wonder why we can climb up here. Let's see. Why can we come up here? Hmm. Curious. Oh, maybe because I can hit that. Hmm, I need. Oh, well, no, there is a ladder up over here. Let's see. What, so I can probably hit the button. Cannot recall the button. Oh! Permanent? Then it's just that we can't get it to automatically. Like, we can't just drag it over. But one idea I have is we can bring, like, maybe the wheels over if we have wheels. We have boards. Oh, please don't. Good, no damage. Alright, so we do have wheels. My plan? 
put boards and uh, make them go. Oh, well, that's not gonna help at all. I keep thinking that that's the rune button. All right. Let's see. So this one is just to make a little boat. And I guess hope that it doesn't, uh... Flip and turn over. From YouTube chat. Hi, I've been summoned. Hello, hello. We are doing our first post, uh... Big O, Big O. This is our first, uh, technically optional shrine. Wonky as hell, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe. But this is cool. There, you are safe. This is cool. I wonder how much they had to change from Breath of the Wild to add all these physics stuff. This is cool. This is really, really cool. I don't even think I found a chest in there, and I, I feel rewarded. I don't even need chests anymore. The puzzles are so cool. Visitor to this shrine of light that when it imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. I'm still kind of sad that Rauru decided to fuck off. It would have been neat to have like a little ghost companion throughout the game. Who knows, maybe he'll show up again, but I feel like he's the King Rome of the Sky Islands. Just a little bit weirder because I have his arm. Still, these shrines are so cool. I almost feel obligated to get all these shrines because it gets rid of the evil. May the light of a blessing grant you the strength you seek. And like the, just the musical way it's done is super cool. Like, just the fact that they're able to repackage the, sh like, concept of the shrines from Breath of the Wild in such a different way. It's so cool. So nice. Hmm, I wonder. Can I sneak up on you? The kids said they just want the big one gone, which is Moblin. Gotta go slowly. Granted, you're a big ol' big ol' moblin, moblin, so maybe you're actually gonna be pretty scary if you notice me. You have yellow markings. That seems new. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, dang it. Lizalfos heard me. Or just saw me. How dare you. You do your job. Oh, you are fucking fast! Yeah, I don't think I'm being able to kill these guys. My plan was to sneak up. Jesus. Let's see, do we have anything that would make it super good? I have to, like, look through my materials. Is there anything that I don't mind losing in here? Like, I don't want to use my... Like, some things. All your friends are gone. Maybe.
get smacked. Apparently my weapon beats your weapon. A decayed boomerang. I did it, by accident. Moblin Fang, that's old, but Blue Moblin Horn, 13 fuse attack power. Jesus. But since you scouty scouty annoyed me, I shall sneak up again somewhere in your scouting pattern, kill your friends. Show you not to mess with me, for I am the mighty twink. Hmm. At least you're kind of smart. You actually are a lookout that looks in all the directions. I wonder if it's just your twitchy nature as a Lizalfos or what. What the? What? You dare? I definitely don't want to be in the range of... Oh yeah, because your friend stole your boomerang. Hope I missed. Oh, I triple missed, even though really that should have gone through your arm. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of scared of their tongue attacks. Back to idiot. A rock boomerang. Let's see. Rock hammer. How good is you? Can you even be like thrown? Oh, was off his horn. Yeah, I was so busy running away from them, I completely forgot that I could actually scavenge their bodies. Wait, also wasn't the... Or did he run away? Where'd the shield go? Or did I pick up the shield? I did not pick up the shield. There you are. Fifteen! Sloppy Craftsman offers poor durability. Still, that is fifteen! I'm almost tempted to throw the rock boomerang just to see what will happen. Hey. Oh, your friends are gone. And all the archers are just weak to headshots. I'll take that. Whip-like quality to attacks. I wonder what that even means. The fact that they, like, also the fact that they added a bunch of new effects to all the pre-existing stuff. Pretty cool. Alright, so this is a new well. There's stuff down there. I, unless I have a ladder, I don't feel like jumping in. Like, hopefully now that I did that quest, I should probably go and be like, Hey kid, I did that for you. Even though I said it, be like, oh, I should probably come back later. And then I didn't. Well, that's kind of ominous. But what even is this sign? They're just pointing. Why do they point? Oh, Koroks. But of course. Should have expected that. That's some strong-ass roots. They stab into the ground and they keep it up. Jesus. Good. I feel like I have a million arrows. Which is just a huge contrast to Breath of the Wild. And it is raining, even though it says in the corner that it should be bright out. 
Huh. It's always the pine cones. Well, kid, I did a murder. M Mr. Customer. Huh? It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty <laughs> monster. I knew it! I thought I saw you among the trees putting in the work and getting rid of that nasty Ooh. monster. Amazing! Thank you! I was so scared! I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything, but I have the reward for getting rid of that monster, so uh -huh. I'll give you two pony points. Reward available. Thank you, kid. <laughs> now I can welcome our customers of peace of mind. Thank you so much. No idea if the pony points are worth it, but let's see. Receive reward. Ooh. Ah, yes. I'll be right with you. Hmm. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Uh -huh. Your reward for three points is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Uh -huh. That's cool. A harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up just two more uh -huh. points, the horse god fabric will be yours. That's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Latino Village Dye Shop over in Nicluda. We appreciate your patronage. All right, now that I spent a long time here, <laughs> a long more time than I thought I would, we shall head out. Yeah, I don't think I have the stamina to get there, especially not without my glider, but we shall follow the like, story marker, because I do believe up there Zelda's like, find me, Link. And it, like, pointed to a specific like, outpost thing. That outpost. I do believe. Yep, that is the outpost. We're heading there now. Although, uh... uh but there's also another ruin. Uh, another diddly D. Well, I guess since I know where I'm going, I don't need you. Delete. But there is, or at least was, a... Ah, uh, we'll leave that be and we'll get to it. Oh, actually. Idea. I can edit the pen to be... That. And whenever I put that down, that'll be like, ah, that is a shrine. And then if I ever want to actually go do it, I can just go and change that. Well, normal thing. Oh, hello. Are you Yiga Clan? No, you seem too unique. You have my support. Are you related to the construction company? Hmm? I'll appear your name, Ensign Sun. Ah! Oh. Whoa, 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 darn it all! President Hudson! Are you okay? He's not here. He's never been here. What? Oh no. What have I done? <laughs> what is going on? <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know. It's just a sign. But I have great respect for President Hudson. So I pin the blame on you. <sighs> unforgivable! President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed to, by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of getting those material caches everywhere. And now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction and besides all that. Sorry, what's all this? Uh -huh. Hey, I'm right in the middle of Mr. President's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And he, that's to put up these signs all over the place and let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Ah! Oh, hey, it's that guy. This portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. Oh, it's not Bolson. It's Hudson. Oh, I guess it, I guess if you create a town, you're a bit more important than you fail to destroy a building. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I've pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. 
Try letting go. <gasps> what? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. <gasps> Whoa, unforgivable! Yeah, I have to attach like a rock to it. <sighs> All right, let's try and find a rock. We'll attach it and it will not fall over. What the hell is that? That looks like a different ball. That's not a ball at all. That's a hot air balloon. What the fuck? You think that there would be one rock out here that's pickable? Oh, maybe that's it. Nope, that's just geometry. Hmm. And I can't just move around rocks myself. Or, like, I can't pick up rocks just in my inventory, which is sad. They're very important in this game. Not the rune button. Right, because I want to see where this came from. Because I have to have it be in sight. Hmm. I guess it came from the one I've already been to. It's not the rune button. Why is there a spear? Or a rusty halberd, just there. Well, I'm gonna take this barrel. I shall attach it to the sign. And it shall work. Fear the magic power of the furry arm. can't actually attach it to it. So we'll want to get all the... Well, actually, I could probably just attach all the barrels to each other and then carry them over as one. Fear the Barrel Brigade. Fear the Barrel Brigade. I didn't mean to shake it and cause it to break. I'm a fool. I was excitedly shaking my Barrel Brigade. And now the Barrel Brigade is dead. You're down to three members. Is it and you see focused? <laughs> Try letting go. Mm -hmm. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> Unforgivable. Hmm, so maybe I need to like hmm. <laughs> Oh, and it got rid of my barrels. Oh nope, just moved them over. Hmm. <laughs> what if I use this to I know. Attach. <laughs> Try letting go. <laughs> He's standing. <gasps> How's the president standing? Items that exist in the universe, dear Addison. From YouTube chat. Hello, hello, people. President Hudson is standing. <laughs> that was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. How are you working in a construction company and you can't even jury rig what I can? All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah. Just put this right there. Get that fastened. Well, I guess it shows me he actually was working for a construction company. Ah. Perfect. 
With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. I'll take that. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Ooh, veggie rice rolls. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. <laughs> what is a sleepover ticket? <laughs> I just didn't, I don't know what to think of that. A sleepover ticket? A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. I guess that makes sense. A reward for collecting pony points. Oh, and we just got it for doing this. This is cool. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. That's so cool. Ah. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. You know, I also like that it just shoves my creation off to the side. But it's kind of neat. All the different things that you can do thanks to the physics and Ultra Hand. Like, that's so cool. I'm definitely going to wander around a lot more. But first things first, we're heading to the stay or like not stable, but like outpost. That I think Zelda pointed my way, and we are not going to bother them. Because that is... That is four constructs and a monster base. So unless I can get the monsters to fight each other, uh, or like the monsters to fight the constructs, I don't think anything good would happen. This is so cool. This is so neat. Also new enemies. Hello, freak of nature. Huh. So they set up their own, like, towers, maybe. Oh, that's a fox. I almost shot at the fox. I was like, ooh, is that a boar out here in the fields? Dazzle fruit, which I think is more electricity. Ooh, a big old pond. No cryonic scene around that. Oh, this is beautiful. This is great. Oh! Oh! I was admiring the universe! Universe, I say. What the fuck is that? Is that a unicorn from hell? What the hell? What's this? A beam emitter club? Freaky shit. I was just like, oh, it just has, like, something attached to it. And then it just spun it around, causing much pain. Okay, good. Are you looking away? Which means I can smack down the captain. You don't hear nothing. You don't hear shit. You don't hear Winnie the Pooh screaming in hell. You hear nothing. Hear nothing. You horrid freak of nature. These things are kind of horrifying if you think about it. And I am just being showered in arrows. And not even, like, in a horrifying way. Just, like, a, no a good way. Hmm, let me read the description of the... This. Ooh! Its current state has not lessened its performance. So if I... Say, fuse it to a giant ass... Will that then hinder its performance game? The current state has not lessened its performance. It has a giant rock on it. 
And I guess I'll go ahead and fuse this rock to the sword. So that it can kind of be a... Still interesting that I have to pick up rupees now. Ever so slightly. Beam Remitter Club is six. I guess I'll... I'll trade. I guess. Why not? Let's see. I was using you. We'll go back to using you. Large Zonite Charge. Hell yeah. And it looks like some Zonai things fell upon the construction. I wonder what happened to Bolson. And I see Gloom. Because hmm. it was Bolson's construction company, but now Hudson is the head. I mean, I, I guess for the most part, Bolson just, like, laid around after a... Uh, to a point... Oh, you again. You have my support! I'm putting Mr. President here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got many more signs to spread around. All right. All right. That's not the thing. Take this. That should keep him standing. Unless it falls in a weird way. Mm. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. He's standing, Mr. Addison. Uh, How's the president standing? Physics. Uh, All right, let's see you have him secured. So this uh, is just going to be a recurring guy. That's neat. Amazing that we just found him immediately after. Uh, Perfect! With your help, President Ad Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks! More rupees. <laughs> Ooh, energizing veggie rice balls. Thank you. Uh, and, oh, pop shroom. Drugs? The bitter powder makes them inedible. That spreads like a cloud of fine spores when stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Huh. Interesting. Whoa. I guess I can create a cloud of poison by yeeting that with, like, on a... What's the word? On an arrow. Hmm. So that seems like a monster. Blood Moon? Blood Moon? B Blood Moon? Where's the moon? Oh. I didn't even think. Well, goes to show that uh, Ganondorf is indeed on the level of Calamity Ganyan. Witness the blood moon's rise. Why are you being creepy, Zelda? When its red glow shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Jeez. Oh, it even shows a Hinox. Well, that's not a Hinox. What the? The world is threatened once again. That thing better not be out there wandering for me. There better not be roaming blood parties out from my ass. I'm going to get up there because I'm going to mark that. Unless I already <laughs> marked it and I took the thing down and I'm an idiot. I forget if I marked something there. Okay. Good to know. Blood Moon's still there. Kind of... 
made worse because Zelda's now freaky with it. Which is just great. Right, there's a big monster party. Oh, mushroom. I wonder if this reads. Same thing. Hudson Construction. I wonder if Hudson just split off from Bolson. Alright, a cave. I'll mark that as a site of interest. Hmm. I guess I'll put that. We'll go ahead and do this. Okay, I'm just getting distracted by everything. It's super cool. What the hell? What's this? Oh, hey, it's a Gerudo. What beautiful scenery. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Mm. Oh, you're quite the handsome Vo, aren't you? To meet in such a romantic place. Could you be the Vo I was just going to fall in love with? No, no, I can tell just from the look on your face. You did not come here in search of your one true love. That's too bad. Still, in a place as magical as this, I really do believe I'll finally meet my ha handsome Vo of my ah. dreams. But until then, let me tell you a rumor I heard about cherry blossom trees. Apparently, there's a strange creature called a Satori that is sometimes seen near such trees. I've seen it myself, but I really want to... I also heard that Satori likes fruit. I guess I should have brought some kind of fruit with me, huh? Hmm. And just a mm, Mandura carrot. But is that like s the king of the mountain thing? I don't think I ever saw it in my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Hmm. A certain fruit. Do I have fruit? What is a spicy pepper? Oh, splash fruit. Yeah, I know. Huh. What? What's this? What are you showing me? Are you sh What are these? He's showing me things. I guess showing me cavern entrances? So that's what that is. Very interesting. Mm. Well, I just summoned him, but he's gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh. Some kind of animal cry earlier. Maybe it was just my imagination, I'm not sure. Okay, that's cool, though. I'm fairly certain that I can just sum that whenever. I'll leave that there. I feel like Satori would annihilate me if I dared take back the fruit. But that's really cool. Showing me, like, potential ways down. YouTube chat knows the bloobies. Well, that's obviously not a bloopy. That is the king of the mountain. Oh, or are you saying that that's like where the, like, blue thingy frogs are? Combat training throwing. Oh, great. That'd be kind of a neat thing. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heed my instruction. Aim true and throw the material. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Hmm, so throw. Can I actually just throw these things? Oh, hold material and throw! Alright. Hmm. Yeah, 
that it said. I probably misread it. Hmm. So what if I hold? Yeah, I totally misread that. Let's see. Can I get to the special controls? Throw material. Hold, select, then hold to get ready. No? Yeah, it says se select material to throw. Oh, so maybe I need to... Ah, there we go. I need to hold R, hold throw, then select material. Got ya, got ya. Very cool, though. Watch the enemy's movements carefully, then throw the material at them. I personally would have preferred if it was like... Select material, then hold R to begin throwing. I feel like that's a bit more intuitive, but that's just me. You've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. But that's really cool. That is very, very cool. Ladders. We can get up here to get the materials. A zonite sword? A zonite sword made of zonite. It resonates with an attached zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Ooh. Okay, so it's equal to this rusty sword. Goodbye. Super cool. So that's kind of nice since there's like elemental fruits that you don't even need like arrows and a bow to actually use them. That's cool. Three bomb flower. Nice. Which means that technically I can just throw bomb flowers around as bombs. But they're not nearly as replenishable as my rune bombs. Thank you very much, Zonai Shrine. That's very cool. That was very handy. I would never have known. And then it gives me the tooltip right after. Hammering it in. So yeah, press that while holding R. Very nice. I wonder if they just stay around forever. Probably not. They're probably going to go away once morning fully comes. Because it's still... Like, it's very bright, but it is like almost four in the morning. I think I've already marked that. But now we're definitely going to make our way to the outpost. Oop. Dang it. Not at all what I wanted. Let's get on top so I can actually mark it. Oh, not that. Not that. Yes, that. For some reason, they feel more no- well, of course, they feel more noticeable, yeah, because they have swirling magic around them. The orange light of a, like, Sheikah Shrine, pretty noticeable. Swirling magic, a little bit more. Still don't know why uh, Zelda was so freaky and calm with the Blood Moon rising. Because before, she's like, be careful, Link. The blood moon has risen, and so all the monsters have returned. And then, and this one, she's just freaky doomsday prophecy lady. I'm coming for you, one. Oh, that's you're a fake one. It's hard to tell the real Donnas from the fake Donnas. I'm coming for you. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious. Where did you fall from? Problem. I realized. 
no uh, water. I was going to go up there, but <laughs> I refuse to be had. I feel like if I uh, go up there, I'm not coming down unless it's in a body bag, so. No. I refute. Shit. No. Die. I did get some bomb flowers. Bye. What lovely annihilation that was. <laughs> Them just blowing up. So grand. Wooden shield, you're worthless. Rock hammer, that's a six. Wooden stick. We're gonna go ahead and open this. That's what I like double double tapped it. I have like 200 arrows. I do not need any more. And now watch me be cursed and uh, get no more arrows. And I'll be like, oh god, where's all my arrows in the game? So just like, oh wow, the monkey paw curled, idiot. Why is there just a single one out in the open? Why'd you go into the pool? Are you gonna suck up the water and become a freak? Oh, you can critical shot them in the eye! Oh! Like, I kind of had that thought. I was like, what if I did? And then I did! And I was rewarded! <laughs> uh, what the fuck? What are those birds? Those don't look natural. Why is there a telescope? What the, also, what the hell is that? Why is there just a flur a storm? Why is why is Sky Pillar from Rescue Team here? Okay, I I, I have to look at this. This is lo looking interesting. I have to go up there, then we'll go in through the front door. But very cool that they set up a base camp here. Okay, so this is a weirdo zone I thing. Can I even climb this? I can. Oh, a steward! Hello! This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized energy. Energy wells? Just want to make sure. Let well, me guess it's like a hundred, right? Yep. But very cool, that one exists right here. Even Pura stamped. Uh... Ah, so Pura got out of Hatuna Village, or at least is more well known. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. What do you mean, they're from the Age of Legends and now they're here? It's also strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is. But it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. Well, Pura's looking into it. She's holed up in a research lab inside the fort, trying to make sense of things. She figures if she better understands the upheaval, she'll find some sort of lead on the princess. But so far, nothing. Uh. Is the princess all right wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about them at a time like this? So Pura's here? Knock, knock, motherfucker! It me! Um? What do you mean, pose? Pose. Okay, freak. <gasps> Wait a minute! What do you think you're doing? Robbie? Jo Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll be in, I'll get in big trouble if you do. Oh. Hey, hey, you! Where have you been? Robbie, head of Purapad Development. Purapad? Oh, I guess. <sighs> the, the, the picture taker. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in a building with the telescope up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? Uh, but I want to steal from the chasm research. 
Ah, Anson, I guess you belong to the Hudson Company. So those balloon devices that from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura, to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule, a creative genius. This is super cool. I don't believe it! Link? Where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back soon, but then you didn't, and now you have! Where's Princess Zelda? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go to talk go talk to Pura first and foremost. She's up in her research lab. That's on the north side of our fort, up on the second floor. Hurry! That's cool that people actually know. I wanna to talk to everybody. Hey, are you the guy that wanted the the spice? Oh, it's you. Your arrival is sure to cause a bit of a stir. Hmm. Oh, but you probably needed something, didn't you? Well, if you're on first visit, go talk to that soldier in the center of our fort. And then I got teleported. Link? It's you! You're back! Where have you been? Aww. Last that anyone saw of either you or Princess Zelda was that you went in to investigate the gloom. And then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pearl's nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Pearl's working on that large building over there. Please report to her right away. She'll want to know you're all right. I'm glad that I'm wandering around. I'm right in the middle of giving out orders. This group's going to join the search for Princess Zelda. So whatever you need, it's got to wait until... <gasps> what? Is it really you? Link, you've returned! I've got to say that it's a relief to see that you're safe. I'm Gralins, head of the monster control crew. But we can talk later. You need to report in to Pyrrha immediately. She has to know you're back. Monster control crew, mm. your interest in our work honors us all, but please go tell Pyrrha you're safe. This is cool. <laughs> Oh, is this, um, no, it can't be, or can it? Is this the, uh, the place where a memory was in Breath of the Wild? And they, I think so. Maybe they just, uh, cleaned it up. Ooh. I'm going to assume that we're going to have to climb that to activate for, like, uh, stuff. Huh, who are you? What? Josha. Hmm. That hair, those eyes, d d doc Dr. Pura! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned! <sighs> well, you're no longer super young. <sighs> okay, now where have you been? The voice actress from Age of Calamity. <laughs> Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Nah, I mean, my arm's kind of ghostly, but... Hey. So like a, uh, what, 20% ghost? Interesting. Yeah, it, it's Zonai. Like flesh. Ish. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Nice to see an update on Pura, head of the lookout landing. But like, an update of her Age of Calamity model. <laughs> kind of funny how it begins, like, haha. Like, really old person who's super young as a child form. And like, nah, let's make so her you and Princess Zelda go actually a hottie. Hyrule Castle, we found a corpse. Discover a mysterious mummy. That was exuding suddenly gloom, I guess. Shatters the fucking sword. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. Yep. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. I guess this confirms that Link can talk. He told her everything. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. Also, they have concept of mummies. You get the Pura pad from an unusual creature. Well, not really a creature. It's more like a special guardian. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Raru. Raru. The master sword disappears. More like the master hilt. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Yeah. 
then I need to head to Kakarika Village. <laughs> like what? Is that your granddaughter or something? Super nerd. What? Then. What? Are you saying you came up from from up there? Indeed, I did. This Rauru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. So we, so I was kind of right. Rauru was King Rome of this game. King of Hyrule, King of Hyrule, both fuck off after the tutorial. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? Just like in the good old days of waking up in hell. And she gave you a clear message to find her. That truly was the princess, and that means she's alive! Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. well, I still don't understand what happened to the Master Hilt. It seemed to, like, if we did recall it, like, that was like a concentrated recall energy that took it, so... Maybe got yoinked through time. Yoinky spoinky. And uh, later in the game, Zelda will be like, Oh, go here. I put it there and found it. Time shenanigans. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet up with the, research, with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him and find the princess as quickly as yes. you can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning, to say the least. But we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. More immediate than a mummy that can raise the castle and cause the upheaval? I'm counting on you, Linky. Character profiles. Character profiles? This is super cool! Oh, look. There's her old design. That's cool. This is super neat. Character profiles. I like this. Pura, head of the Lookout Landing. The highest authority on ancient technology. She has sent Princess Zelda's family. Oh, she has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started to investigate an outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Poor Princess Zelda, all alone beneath the castle of that creepy mummy. I don't even know what I'd do if I were, if it were me down there. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda. Hmm. If the princess really did tell you to find her, then you'd better do so and quickly. Captain Haas has been leading a search below Hyrule Castle. Talk to him and see how you can help out. You must reach the princess quickly if she's there. <gasps> I'm counting on you, Link. Let's see, what's this? Can I activate this? I want more on my... They'll probably tell me, eventually. Excuse me. Hmm. So unless I actually do need to climb it, which is doubtful, can I even? Oh, I can. That's worrisome. But I don't think I need to climb it. Ah, but we can climb. Then we'll... Well, then again, I don't have my... I don't have my paraglider, so that'd be a worrisome thing. So let's actually follow the story for a bit. I don't even have good clothes. And they're sending me to hell again. Oh. Mm. We're searching frantically, but we still haven't found anything. Ah. Well, off we go then. And it seems like these actually did stick around. I wonder what they actually are. Like, uh, like I said earlier, and how ch like uh, chat helped point me in the right direction. It's probably caves where the like bloopy frogs are. Oh, hey, another another one of these. I figured that the castle would be kind of a danger zone. Oh, darn it! Didn't kill it. Tried to go for a headshot and I missed. Oh, what's this? I want to read, not take. 
I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost the calamity. I'm not gonna take that. We're gonna let leave it be. We'll leave that be. Just one second, and you'll be able to see uh, President Hudson stand on his own once again, Addison. Ah! It's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. Try letting go. Ah! How is the president standing? <laughs> he just hasn't learned to set it up so that he can then <laughs> fix it up. Alright, give me food or like money, food, and special random thing. And another sleepover ticket. I'm never gonna have to pay for a lodging ever. All because of Addison. Alright, some like Sheikah style tents. That's how I describe these. Well, I scared off whatever animal was here. Huh? Wow, you scared me! What are you doing here in a place like this? The Hurl Castle Chasm is nearby. It's dangerous, you know. Mm. For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. I'd say most things are dangerous these days, so if the upheaval, watch your back. Chasm? Oh. Well, like chasms, you know, the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard the members from the research team w went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad the researching were shrines and not the chasms. Let's talk about shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it's caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. It was smack on the front page, you know. So far, we know that they're from the Age of Legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? Just what are they, anyway? Ah. Aside from the, chas uh, the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the things that have sprung up due to the up upheaval. But the shrines and chasms? They could be dangerous, which would be scary. So we need to investigate them pronto. <laughs> The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Watch closely, lady, as I perform a magic trick. I just realized I could actually go up into the sky with my paraglider and then just teleport. Bye, lady. I go into the rock. Rock. We go into the rock. Boss Bacoblins. They command a team of Bacoblins in battle, and I couldn't read it fast enough. <laughs> so that's, I guess, what that big hinox looking motherfucker was with two eyes. Boss Bacoblin. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. You're not nearly as scary as a guardian. I can kill you. I can kill your whole family. The shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heed my instruction. Use side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opportunity you can use to strike back. Oh. Darn. I was too fast, too furious. Too fast, too furious. You're too slow. I'm too fast. There we go. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening strike back. An opening to strike back. There we go. Yeah. Mwah. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right moment. Strike back in the opening you create. 
Nice to get this refresher. Dang it. Darn it. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Get your enemies in this motion to damage them. Spin! I do like that we can just go there to drop things. It's super nice and efficient. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. And we get a chest. Sad I don't get big old weapons. Open sesame! Zonite sword. Let's see, what should we drop for you? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll drop the beam emitter sword because I think we can get good stuff out of a Z Zonite sword. But I do like how they, like, mirror Breath of the Wild so much. Ancient civilization with ancient tech, with ancient robot things. But they feel so different. It's so cool. It feels so cool. Temperate cave. Stuck into a cave for well to save off the heat and cold of the outside world. Hmm. Cave creatures have their own native flora and fauna. What'd you think of that? Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? What? Huh, um, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Let's read the notes. Note on table. Present urgent orders from Lookout Landing for all of us on the monster control crew. As Hyrule Castle continues to float, she's tasked us of searching the area beneath it for Princess Zelda and her protector. Be aware that the gloom has spread even more in this area. Prepare yourself before you depart, Captain Holmes. Traveler's sword? That... Yeah, it looks kind of decayed. Yep, the blade is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. And then Traveler's shield. Let's see. Hmm. I'll take a Traveler's shield over my flame one. Oh, and then I can take the, ah, take these off since I did them. Hmm? Link, is that really you? Where did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to be serious about my training. Captain Hose doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. Mm, so it's called the gloom instead of malice, I suppose. Oh, did they fix up the gate? I bet they did. Neat new birds. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought it was actually closed. Surprise! The power of Link is through. Open the gate. Huh? Who's there? Uh. Hey, this area is off limits for a uh, while. We conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Uh -huh. Link? Is it it's you? I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Oh, huh, you should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. Uh, you'll find it at the very end of this road. Very interesting that we're coming back here super early compared to... Have I marked that? It doesn't seem that I have. But we're coming back here super early. 
kind of like that. can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be at the first gatehouse up at the end of this road. I like Shars. He's like, it looks like Link, but it can't be. I'll stick to my orders. Good for you. For all I know, for all you know, I could be a Yiga clan. Pretending to be Link with uh, their special powers. But can I just sneak in? I cannot. Neat. Music isn't as epic as it was before. But still neat that it has its own track. Oh. We've turned up nothing here. That would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Ah, you're the spitting image of Link. I bet the Captain Hawes saw you. He'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Is that, like, <laughs> foreshadowing? <laughs> Is the <laughs> Captain Hawes gonna fall to his death? They're like, Captain Hawes, I've returned. Oh! <laughs> Link subsumes his position as captain. Immediately runs away to do random things. <laughs> Well, first of all, well, I guess we should probably talk to you. You're closer. He's too busy, I guess. Oh. Why do you have a pot on your head, Wingo? Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all go owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, mm. but the captain's way up at the top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. I assume he's talking to himself like, we better stay out of the way until we can help, which is good. Oh, standing on the edge and staring in it is intense. Seeing a chasm in person is far better than hearing about it. Chasm? Oh! Why would you do that? Just up and startle someone on the edge of the void! This chasm is nearly bottomless, just like all the other cr others created by the upheaval. Personally, I do not want to hit the bottom of a nearly bottomless chasm. Oh. Even though it scares me, I can't stop staring into it. I guess we'll walk in and then I'll try to climb up. I don't think it's healthy to be around all this gloom. If it's airborne, it's bad. Oh, hey, torch. So if I ever need a torch. Mm, why do you have a fedora? Just like I thought. The weapons here have all decayed, too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Mm. Hey, it's a new face. Uh. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Oh. There's also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Mm. Probably best to consider all weapons decayed at this point. Oh. So there must be a way to strengthen them. Interesting. Well, time to climb. <laughs> captain, my captain. I'm like a hundred years older than you. Let me in. How'd you even get to the top of here? You're just a normal guy. You're not like me. Ah, shit. Hmm. Trying to think of... Oh, maybe here, here. Maybe not the actual top. Keep searching! Hmm. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link? Is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Well, except the arm. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief! 
Now, uh, things happened. Oh. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to help with the search? I see. Uh, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Oh. I'm relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. Our work carries on, but we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh, Captain! It's Princess Zelda! What? What do you mean? It is. Hmm? That's not good. I don't think it'd be that easy. Princess Zelda! She's safe! You're gonna vanish, aren't you? Well, I was expecting the vanishing, wasn't expecting you to turn into a light. Hmm? Wait. What? Well, that's my that's that's my reaction too. Huh? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off. Right? How strange. This this is an emergency situation. Hmm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know that this, about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, we must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Alright, ominous. Oh? Princess Zelda dissipating into light. I don't understand. Um, you weren't here, were you? Huh? Whoa, what was that? My eyes weren't playing tricks, were they? No, they wouldn't do that. That was Princess Zelda. What's going on? <coughs> oh, that was close. Very interesting. Well, that's just a bit ominous. Princess Zelda just stares at us, let, lets everyone know, I'm alive. Flies into the sky. Considering that she was also a bit weird with the Blood Moon announcement, I wonder if something happened to her. Because she was her normal, like, archaeological happy Zelda self in the beginning of the game. Hmm. If I had better shields, I'd probably shield surf down. That was very ominous. At least that one guy was right. I guess they don't need to be searching anymore. More than likely, I, what I expect to happen is Pearl will go, well, I guess Zelda wants only Link to find her. So, we'll withdraw the search team and allocate resources elsewhere, probably. At least that's what I assume. I don't know why. I really like the atmosphere of Tears of the Kingdom more than Breath of the Wild. I think it's because Breath of the Wild felt very empty, which definitely kind of fit Breath of the Wild, whereas here, it's like Breath of the Wild added with stuff. <laughs> new settlements, new stuff just strewn about. New broken down ruins and fallen pieces of everything. We walking along, we walking along, we walking along. I just realized. Well, actually, I realized another thing. I have a million arrows. I can just shoot things. Because I have a million arrows. Alright, this is kind of dark. They're reusing the foundation of a, what I presume to be a destroyed building. Like, this is really well done stonework. And I think these belonged to destroyed buildings. That's... I guess it kind of makes sense. If the foundation's good, might as well use it. Okay, good. You're already marked. 
but I wonder why it's showing light for a bloopy frog here. Pars. Well, let's read diary. Hmm, read the Pearl Pad Instruction Manual. Map, sure. If you can scan the surrounding terrain using the Skyview Tower, you can register the map in your Purapad. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the locations of a Skyview Tower that you've already registered by selecting it. This handy instant travel to a uh, registered location feature has been dubbed Travel by its clever inventor, Pura. Open up the camera and point uh, the Purapad at your desired target. Do so and you can save the targeted scenery or form as, uh, in your album as a picture. Additionally, the Purapad can provide data on the Hyrule's ecosystem. The subject reflected in a picture will be automatically identified, giving you all the thrill of filling out the compendium. Ah, what an excellent sight! Hey, hey, you! Do you have any idea how worried we've been? So that's the arm, huh? I overheard. Pira talking about it. Hmm, I see. Yeah, it's pretty weird, all right. Hmm, nope, now it's not the time for distractions. Let's got to wait for later. Anyway, I hear you've got yourself the Pura Pad now. You know that Pura Pad of yours can get a lot more powerful. I know it's real potential. I've got big plans for that device, but first I need to help Joshua with her investigations into the depths. But then, oh yes, then I will head back to the lab in Atino Village to resume my research. So once I'm able to finish up here, you should join me there. Sorry I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. I was just relieved to see you. My name's Scorpus. I've been charged of managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Ah. Now then, please, allow me to open the emergency shelter. Oh, open a thing for me. You. Hey, it's me. Open up. Huh. Interesting. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in your in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Oh, thanks, dude. Ah, Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty, you will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Ah. Indeed, this place was originally used by the royal family as a safe haven in times of need. It's quite old, so we've been fixing it up as we go, you see. At this point, we've stockpiled some supplies and I find it to be downright cozy. Ah. I, Monty, have been tasked with the illustrious duty of watching the entrance of this renowned emergency shelter. My tasks involve sh taking orders from my superiors regarding when to open or shut the entryway. A noble task indeed. Aye. Watch your footing when you use the ladder. If only one could go straight through the ceiling rather than use the tiresome ladder. Ha! <laughs> but I digress. Oh. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see mm. fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spent so much time cleaning in here and there's still endless amounts of dust. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from anyway? Lots of people. Today in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to the shifts caused by upheaval. With Perez as their leader, the Zonai survey team begin thorough investigations the world oh. over. Huh, guess this paper's a little old. Three big ideas. Uh, I won't read that. Oh. Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer too. My name is Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy like for today's menu we have fruit and mushroom mix. That'll rev you right up. Oh. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have the most important ingredients, I could buy a rich, full flavor. Oh. Oh, my nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be, do you have an apple? Take this. I have plenty of apples. Oh. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you the first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. 
I like this. I like just wandering around. This is really cool. I'm calling it Bermano Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Which is just fruit and mushroom mix. <laughs> I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. We should try some making some. Not bad. Oh. oh, hey, is that you, Link? I've been nose down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. This is pretty involved. I'm going to keep sitting here a while while I wrench on this. Ah. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Ah. And just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. Uh, it was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most uh, things. Oh yeah, in case nobody's mentioned it yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. But a Boko Reaper. And then a traveler sword. A traveler sword. I'll keep the axes because they're pretty handy. And I'll take this Boko Reaper. Oh? Hmm? Huh? Oh, it's you, Link! Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all my attention. Oh. Uh, are you interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? This is my entire field of study. When I'm out on a develop deployment with the monster control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in lookout landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns. Hmm. Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Oh. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheikah are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is, the sh of, is from the Sheikah tribe. Hmm. Hyrule has eight major places that its various peoples call home. I like this. I like just walking around. Lookout Landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town, that's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit farther east, and you'll come across Terry Town. The Terry Town! Represent! Uh, you'll come across Terry Town and Akala. Not too far from there in Zora's Domain, there's within the Nehru region. Oh. Continuing into the southeast Hyrule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kokoriko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear the village is quite lovely. If you're seeking a tranquil spot, Tatino Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Luralin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. I don't think I ever went to Luralin Village, or if Luralin Village even existed. I don't think I've ever really went down to that little peninsula. Um. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the people of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. Hmm. I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting everyone from the monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat, so instead I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Oh. There's been an increase in the numbers of unfamiliar monsters and their people as well. Be careful out there. Ooh, I don't think I have enough. I don't, but nice to know that there's one here. Oh. Link, right? You really are that Link guy, aren't you? I have folks thinking of talking about you, and your face matches the one on the poster. I'm sorry, you wanted a bed, yeah? You can go ahead and take whatever empty bed you like. Uh, Nap and sleep talking is particularly audible here, so you probably want a bed a little farther from him. His physical condition has been deteriorating ever since he investigated one of the chasms. 
That's despite how long he's been back, which has been quite a while, he still hasn't made much of a recovery. Oh. The upheaval created a mass of openings across the land known as chasms. In fact, there's one nearby just beneath Hyrule Castle and another to the south of Lookout Landing. If you go plumb in those depths, you'll come across plenty of gloom. You touch that stuff and your health will take a turn for the worse. Ah. Anyway, there's a young girl named Josha who's been heading up investigations into the chasms. Despite her age, she's been leading the charge. Pretty remarkable, if you ask me. Uh. Nope, nope, nope. Not going near chasms no more. Nasty gloom, it's everywhere, making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad I ate the yellow paint and flat stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'd be canoeing down Old Death River. Ah. Work my tail off with Josha. Get run circles around Pearl and Robbie. She loves research me. I'm sick of death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low and keep lying here. Well, might as well. Let's a go! Oh. Let's a go! Surprise! <laughs> Tunnel rat link. Ratting it out. I guess the... Oh! There's a shop here. Hey! Hey, welcome! It's your first time in my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together. But I stock a nice selection of goods. I run... Uh, I ran a store back in my hometown. So, I hope you'll support my place here. Oh. I come from a small fishing village called Lurlin Village. It's way to the south on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. It used to be a peaceful place, too. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but then those pirates arrived. I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I don't know how it's going there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep sewing as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd need. Uh, buy my stuff. Oh. Let's see. Is there anything worth selling from me? Because these can be turned into stuff, and they're pretty useful. Uh, oh. Let me see. How, much, how expensive are these? Hmm, 120. 130. And then 70. Hmm. 130 and 70. So 200 rupees, eh? Uh, oh. Let's see. I think Opal is usually just a seller. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. I kind of miss being able to swap pages with my right stick. I'll keep you. I don't want to sell you. Hmm. I do like that it also has the total earnings down there. Hmm. I'll sell eight. Who are you? Mm. So great, it's just so great. Oh. This Highland Armor series has caught your eye too? The design is so cool and it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers too, which means there's a must for adventuring. Definitely this, because it's a big ah. upgrade. Oh. I'll go ahead and grab the hood, ah. since it's a decent thing as well. There we go. A little sad because this is an iconic look, but better for traveling. Or is that just a... I'm kind of interested. What's down here? Interesting. Is 
it's just a normal little rock. You can never know. Sometimes there'll be a Korok. Well, I have a big hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting that's not a thing. Oh, I thought that was a movable thing. It looked different from the other rocks. Pick up all the bright bloom that we possibly can and grab this. Royal Claymore. Yields a powerful flurry rush during a perfect dodge. Hmm. Like, might carry that around to see if I could strengthen it, because if that could be strengthened... Hmm. I guess I'll drop you. We'll put on this again. Basically, anything that's just a stick tied to a rock, I'll freely drop, because then we can get those back pretty easily. Oh, wait, I forgot. I can just make it. That's not the room thing. <laughs> Goodbye! I can just get out of here through this. That's so cool. Well, now let's go talk to Pura. Oh, no one out there? Uh, I prefer to keep work and my personal time separate, so can you bother me some other time? I'm all wrapped up for the day, see? Understandable. I like how many people there are just out and about at this lookout. Oh. Hi, sorry, but I'm busy at the moment, so I'll have to talk to you between swings. You never know when monsters will pop up, so I'm taking my training very seriously. Ah. You might have noticed, but each sword handles differently, so it's wise to try different types to get used to the feel. If you know they're handling and practice plenty, the fact that they're decayed won't matter so much. That's pretty cool. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Uh, Princess Zelda turned into light and disappeared. Hmm. Link, well, did you find anything? Yep, she appeared. What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off. I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. They're always so breath of the wild. <laughs> but if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. <gasps> oh yeah, you've still got the pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? You gonna power it up? It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Aha! Mm -hmm. All right, I forgot that we uh, before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Skyview Tower. Josha, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Well, let me guess, it's missing something. Because I did see a thing at the bottom. Looked like a jet engine. Ah. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Ah. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick. Just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You, got you must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... They already talked to him. Mm -hmm. Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels... If already went there, you should go to Mub's shop. I'll be over by Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. All right, Josha. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel Check. point. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so neat to have, like, Age of Calamity Pura here. Joseph, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me.
This is so cool. Notes on the upheaval. On that day, the land shook in huge chasms that seemed bottomless opened in the ground. The clouds billowed and rolled as floating islands appeared in the skies, raining chunks of ruins down on us. And strangest of all, Hyrule Castle began to float in the air. It's hard to believe this is our world now. Whoever started calling it the upheaval had the right idea. An evil-looking haze surged up from the chasms that opened on the surface. The haze weakens everything it touches. People fall ill when exposed to it, and it has another curious property as well. As if guided, the miasma coiled about our weapons. There isn't a single weapon we know of that isn't decayed as a result. We're calling the stuff Gloom. I guess they figured this isn't what Malice used to do, so it can't be Malice. We decided to call the islands hanging in the sky Sky Islands. Simple to the point, it's best it seemed. I suspect based on the design motifs on them that the ruins falling from the sky are Zonai in origin. We still understand so little about the Zonai civilization, all we know is that it flourished in the sky. While it's true that the upheaval has posed major problems in every aspect of life in Hyrule, I can't deny that it's also presented us with an opportunity to answer questions we've long had about our history. Hmm. We've started investigating the fallen ruins in the Sky Islands. Our best lead is a report from the chief of Kakariko Village that some unusual ruins and engraved slabs have fallen there. I decided to have the Zonai Survey... Why did I pronounce it like that? Survey. I decided to have the Zonai Survey Team work out on Kikariko Village in Nakluda, southeast of the lookout landing. The ruins that fell on Kakariko Village are massive. You can see them from all the way here at the lookout landing. The crater left by the castle's rise is still spewing gloom. It's kept us from making any progress of our investigations. We still don't know anything about where the Princess and Link have gone. The upheaval occurred very soon after the Princess and Link left to explore beneath Hyrule Castle. I fear the two events are related. That they were. Granted, I think that even if we didn't go there, the, the mummy would have awoken eventually. <laughs> Uh, Pura decided, and I'll make my own Sheikah Frog. Let's read. A stairway leading deep beneath Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda didn't know about it, so it seems safe to assume it's a secret removed even from the royal legend. We have confirmed that gloom emanates from the location, meaning something down there must be causing it. I appointed Princess Zelda and Link to investigate. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Princess Zelda volunteered for the job before I had the chance. I know beyond a doubt that there is no team more qualified for such a task, and yet, I can't escape this feeling of dread. I've decided to store this diary in four volumes, that way if a nosy someone reads it, they only have a quarter of it. Such ideas are the fruits of genius! As for the first one, I think I'll entrust it to who else but Empa. Speaking of Empa, she's had a cute habit of hiding important items underneath things ever since she was a child. I have a fond memory of when she forgot about a hidden steamed bun beneath a cushion and then sat on it. Squashed flat! Diaries are flat to begin with, but as they are more important than a bun, I hope she finds a better hiding spot than a cushion. So that's a hint that Impa hid a piece of Pura's diary under a seat. That's kind of cool. But I wonder what that is then. No idea. How goes it? If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. That should do it. Also, I really like her mm -hmm. lab coat. Hey, Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now, or it will be once you do your part. Hey! We're ready, Josha. Pull the switch! Hey! I still like that there's still a bit of... Ancient Sheikah tech rolling around. Ooh. Neat. It's like a rocket silo. Are you going to want... Okay, it is a rocket silo. What? Gondor calls for aid. Are you to Game, are you going to tell me that you're going to give me the whole map right off the bat? 
Are you gonna do that game, or is this just pointing out where all the things are? That's cool. A cool visual, though. Oh! Oh, the Skyview Towers have now been activated! Yeah! Okay, Link, your turn! Ah! Go hold the purr pad over that terminal. I still might have to activate them to teleport to them, but it might be interesting if I actually have, like, the information. But this is looking like I'll still have to go about to all of them to actually get the information. Which I guess is fine. Huh. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use the travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to the Pura Pad, so yep, I have to go find them. Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quick. Their primary function is to survey the area, or more simply put, to make a map. The Pura Pad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Uh -huh. Pretty great, hmm? Mm. Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill, and nobody here had what it takes. I'll be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Give it. Yes! My paraglider! Technically, it's new because it has different cloth, but my paraglider! Yes. So I get launched out of this. Because I was looking at it, it's like, hmm, this is a tube. Do I go up? I'm going to be launched. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with a test mm -hmm. scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, all right? Huh. I'll be observing from the research lab. Yeah. When the test scan is over, we'll have a final briefing on the, re uh, the search for Princess Zelda. And I'll also need to update your map of the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. But I kind of like this because I'm going to assume that each tower will launch me and that we can launch... Anytime we want. Which means quick trap. Oh, that's kind of freaky. Dr. Octagonopus, why? <laughs> that, that's hilarious. That's a cool animation. Wow, that's powerful. Good, great moogly googly. Stamina might be the best thing ever. Like, if we can launch from here whenever, I could cross all of Hyrule with enough. Like, stamina. But that's cool. And it kind of makes sense because it's basically artificial Sheikah Towers. Brand new, made with new stuff. Surface map updated. Oh, and sky map updated. Why is there a stuff uh, like a... Oh, I can. I can now fly wherever I want. Maybe. Hell yeah. Da 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 <laughs> oh, that's grand. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. I can take mid-air pictures. It's uh, like, I'm not sure if it actually slows down time. It feels like it. Okay, I'm going to mark all the towers. Edit pen. Tower. That's interesting. Ooh, I wonder how the Great Plateau is doing. But this is cool. I like this. There's Lanayru. Kakariko Village, I suppose. This is so cool! I think one of the towers is kind of blocked, so I won't be able to see it. But I also like that, like, yeah, these are just, like, man- or, like, I guess, highly and made, like, towers. 
Chica Towers. It's cool. What the fuck is that? Oh, but that's so cool. I'm gonna make liberal use of those. And we have a new paraglider. All is right in the world now. Can I look through? Oh, that's so cool. I have my paraglider now. My instincts will never fail me again. Because uh, she did say, oh, nope. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I thought to go inside, but I didn't. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there. I took so many just like markers of the land. Why is there just a guy leaning there? Is he dead <laughs> in the background? <laughs> I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Huh. Good, that map is crucial to our search. There are, in uh, there are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of... Blah, excuse me, my throat decides to just go blah. You want to make a point of visiting them all. Right? Let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Elden to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Leneru to the east. The strange phenomena are con concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. Well, I was gonna go to Hebra Vill or like uh, the Rito Village first anyway. Hmm. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Ah. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's no nobody who knows more about the goings on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. <laughs> so basically the game is saying, go to Rito Village, go to Rito Village, go to Rito Village. They know the best are the Rito. The Rito are the best, you know. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out some way too. Considering that it's like the Lucky Clover Gazette, I'm going to assume that the head person is the, like, rumor mill lady, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, mini chasms, and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone somewhere might know what happened to the Princess Zelda. Yeah! I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go talk to this guy. You dead? I'll be the one. The one who solves the riddle of our local ruins. Well, he's dead to the world. I wonder if we'll find, uh, what's his name? Hestu. Out and about. Let me triple check. Yep, already did you. Well, I guess we'll go do that shrine. Maybe look into that gloom. That one's actually pretty close. Oh yeah, we'll go. I'll keep that. Oh, and it's right next to a shrine as well. Perfect. But I'll head to the weirdness. Look around. I want to do some shrines to get my health up. Then we might... Head out to Rito Village. Hmm. If I see a single spark, I am changing my weaponry. I think it would mostly just be changing my 
shield. In fact... <laughs> I see you. Let's see. Are you Sparky? You are not Sparky. Good. I do like how big and noticeable they are. Freaky. Double freaky. Stop. Hmm. So there's somebody camping out next to this gloom. You are flying in the wrong direction, restless thing. Okay, that hot air balloon would have exploded. Get out of here, freak. Discovery! Hyrule Field Chasm! Oh, notice. Taking out monsters south of here by the Hyrule Garrison Ruins. Captain Hose. Monster Control Crew. South of here. And I assume south is, well, up. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll tell me. Hey there, you're a bit late, hmm? Oh, you're, you're not a member of the Monster Control Crew? Sorry, we're just formed, so I'm not overly familiar with everyone's faces. Oh. As we speak, Squad One by uh about ah, Squad One of the Monster Control Crew, led by Hawes, is carrying out a mission nearby. Ah. Oh, that would have been north. I'm terrible with directions. If you go south on that road, you'll see them in action. They're assaulting a monster stronghold. I'm just here for logistical support, tending for the horses, making elixirs. Come to think of it, I did make some uh, extra elixir. Why don't you take it? M might come in handy during your travels. Thank you. Candidly, I'm a little worried about the mission. The new members didn't get much in the way of training. I wish someone with experience fighting monsters were there to help. Oh, Hello there. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied to deal with travelers right now. That's what you are, right? A traveler? It isn't safe here. Captain Hawes' squad of the monster control crew is going to engage the monsters around here soon. I bet you by now they're already locked in combat with the monsters at the lair to the south. Uh. I'm not going to stop you if you want to go watch the sparks fly. But at least take some precautions first. Let's see. Well, I have a decent amount of weapons, so I don't even need to take it. To the south of here, huh? Hmm. I'd rather get there and... So, uh, I'll go do this and then we'll run back to the shrine and chasm. Wow, these guys are fearless. Hey, Captain Hawes. Hi. Link, hello! The last time we met was at Hyrule Castle, if I remember right. Hey. I'm Hawes, captain of the Squad One of the Monster Control Crew. After our search for Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle, I returned to my monster fighting duties. Oh. At the moment, we're closing in on a monster stronghold up ahead. Once we approach their base, we'll wait for the right opportunity and then launch our attack. Oh. I apologize if I'm being presumptuous, but running into you here feels like fate. I must say nothing would be more encouraging than to have you, Hyrule's best swordsman, assist us. Ooh. If we work together, I'm sure we could bring peace back to this land. Ooh, bring peace to the Hyrule Field. This is cool. Oh, there's hey. a fucking moblin. And the coblins, and they're all awake. Ready yourselves. Hmm. What thing would be best to fuse? See. Increases five. Let's see. All the way back here.
take them all. Oh, I got hit. I think I hit you. That's bad. Oh, that fucking moblin almost took me out. Just absolutely would have walloped me. Okay, maybe not as bad. But this is cool. We're actually leading an assault. Great googly moogly, I'm being annihilated out here. Oh! Explosion! <laughs> Victory is ours! Bravo, everyone! Hi. Link, I'm so grateful for everything you did for us. If you don't mind, could you come here for a moment? Oh. Just incredible. No monster is a match for you, eh, Link? Oh. Come to think of it, Link, I was told that you wield a special sword. One more magnificent than all the others. I don't mean to be rude, but the weapon doesn't seem all that different from ours. Oh. The one I heard about reveals its true power when wielded by someone worthy. Could that be it? Ah, well. I'll be the first to admit when there's a gap in my knowledge. I'm so sorry. I nearly forgot something very important. Oh, thank you very much. It's part of the bounty given to the monster control crew, so please don't hesitate to accept Ooh. it. We plan to head southeast after this, to Fort Hatino in the Cluda. I hope I get the chance to fight beside you again. Hey! May you fight with the goddesses Hylia's divine protection, brave swordsman. <laughs> That's cool. Kind of chaotic. Almost got my ass eliminated. Blue bacoblin horn. Bacoblin guts that were writhing. Sturdy wooden stick has high durability. Nice. Hmm. So if we just find a... Hmm. And that's wooden stick while this is a sturdy wooden stick. Hmm. because you're going to explode in a second. This is a traveler's sword. Well, actually... <laughs> Moblin horn. Soldier's broadsword. <laughs> and then we'll quickly get off it so it doesn't explode on me. Traveler's sword. My stone axe I threw. Yeah, no wonder. I wonder if this place will stay dead. Because it specifically is like, ah, we'll bring peace. So maybe, maybe not. But now let's head back. Oh, I almost missed these. Give me those arrows. I'm always down for some arrows. And what the hell is that? Uh, just trees. I thought the trees were like stone constructs. Ah, uh, darn. Yeah, we'll head there, activate and do the shrine, see what the chasm's all about. I really should just be shooting birds as I go along. If only I had like a high durability bird shooting bow. And as always, we do not hunt the fox. The fox is a friend. We learned this in Ghost of Tsushima. My voice cracked there because I am a bitch. Josin, Josin Shrine. And as always, do not forget 
Remain hydrated. Hydration is very important. I just realized I probably made a good decision in investing in these armors. Because if I didn't, I probably would have died in that raid. And I don't think I saved before I did it. Shape rotation. Well, obviously we'll be moving things in and out. That's not the... That's the completely incorrect thing. Up. You're already orientated correctly. Hmm. Yeah. Like this. This is cool because these aren't just fused together like uh, objects, they are actually sculpted models, which I do appreciate. Oh, am I supposed to put it in here because that's the main thing, but what about up there? Can I climb you? I don't think I can, so I need to... Almost, damn it! And I think I'm stuck here. Darn. Nope, I got out. <laughs> Maybe not the way it was intended, but I did it anyway. I can just glide down like a bad bitch. All right, we need to make kind of a diamond shape, but I think, uh, is it upside down? Oh, I need to do this, I'm an idiot. I think like the people who made the game looked at like, uh, Magnesis, and we're like, we can do better than that. Did it. I rock the world. And I do wonder what the state of the Great Plateau is. I do like these like little moments, but uh, they still take quite a while. I still think that I'll invest mostly in hearts before stamina, but I don't know how many. At least two more hearts. Because Red Moblin was kicking my shit. Well, that's not good. You just have a place right next to Oh, yeah, you feel awful. Yeah, because you're next to the gloom. It's after you. Oh. Hey, traveler, I'd stay away from that stuff if you care about your health. Folks are calling it gloom. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength like it's sapping your life away. <sighs> I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. The worst of it will recover on its own, little by little, as long as you're on the surface. 
But while you're in the depths, I won't recover at all. I thought I was gonna die down there. Uh, some investigation leader I turned out to be, this is just pitiful. Aww. I don't like seeing Deval working all alone in the rain. Oh, the rain is diegetic. Jesus, that is deep in there. Oh. Oh. Hey, buddy, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. For one thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Yep. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai investigation team. Even if one researcher had to stop, Josha, who's had... Josha, who's hard at work on plans over at Lookout Landing, would cry. Not okay. Oh. You know the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval? There are lots of them. Just like this one all over the world. You can't see the bottom. They're so deep, so filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Josha. Maybe oh. I should have talked to Josha. See that tower over there? That's where you'll find our base of operations and, incidentally, Josha. Oh, also, oh. don't startle me again. I'm hard at work investigating despite this rain. Well, since we can teleport, I'll head over there to the other outpost. Because I think that's what it is. At least it was. And, or, or is, the lights are still on, so I thought there was an outpost there. Ah, there. We'll hit that shrine. Make our way to that. We'll head back to Lookout Landing. To try and uh, talk to Josha. See if there's anything we can learn about the chasms. Helping with the chasm investigation. Mark you with treasure. Well, since I have my glider, I can zippity do ya you. Oh, that's another. Yeah, there's skulls. A cobbling skulls, oddly enough, but still skulls. So definitely a. That would have killed me. That's not the runes. That's not how runes work. <laughs> Is that what I think it was? Was that a big bacoblin ass? It's hard to see in the rain. Mine. How the hell did it break off in the first place? Okay, maybe it was just a stone I saw. Well, now that we have my paraglider, I don't fear shit no more. Wait, I thought I saw like a big bacoblin, the leader bacoblin, just going about doing bacoblin things. Well, there are bacoblins there. I'm gonna kill them. I'm coming for you, Baki. I'm going to kill your ass. How oh, dare you hit me, illegal. Hmm, that's a three shield, so... But yeah, now I'm now with my paraglider, I don't fear nothing no more when it comes to height. Hmm. Should I blow them up with a bomb? I do have a lot of flame ones. Don't worry, there's more where that came from. I'll burn you all, one by one. I do not fear the sanctity of your lives. It's not murder if it's Bacoblin.
I get the feeling that when I run into a Hinox, I'm gonna shit myself. I think they're gonna be so much more scary. Alright, well now I'm interested in what that is. I just see anything, and I'm like, I wonder what that is! Whoop-de-doop-de-doop! -de but right now, shrines. I want more shrines. All of the time. All of the shrines will be mine just in time. And what will this shrine be? A spinning device. Uh, that's not the thing. I can just steal them. Nah, 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 you're mine. So if I want more, I can just take them. Infinite arrows. Okay, first let's orientate it properly. anymore. Hmm. So I basically do have to put it on its side for maintenance. wheels to be roughly working together. Sure, the wheels are in weird positions, but it should still work. Well done. Probably because of the... Oh, yeah, okay, I get it, yeah. Mind it is kind of working. It just I angled it wrong, I guess. stamina for this. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker! <laughs> well, hope, I hope I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I needed you, didn't I? I need to put the wheels to spin eternally. Hello, and welcome to the Hylian Treadmill. Go, my mighty car! We're at an angle, so it'll take a bit, but we'll get there. Maybe I just need one wheel. That's cool. All right, we have two wheels that... Okay, I think I get it. Maybe just one wheel will work. Okay, we wanna 
set it like this. Shit. Well, so that would have been very bad. Can you wheel that slightly moved the platform? <laughs> it almost landed me. Well, oh, it responds good. Hmm. Ah, so maybe on top instead. For some reason, my brain was, like, fixated on putting it in the middle, which probably wouldn't have been a good idea. Goes to show there's so many different ways you can use those things. That's so cool. It's just so so interesting and neat. This is so cool. I love the puzzles in this one. The puzzles are so cool. I said something about wet walls, and I missed it. And here are parts... Oh. Morak, where do you want to go? Aw, oh, my friend and I got separated. My friend is sending up a smoke signal, but I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though, I can't move. Well, I guess we'll build a zoom zoom. We shall build a zoom zoom platform. Send him on his way. Not the worst way. like this should get you moving. My tricycle of hate. Alright, let's aim it a bit better. Let's go! Probably aimed it poorly. Bye, Keys. Who needs a horse? I'm a god. Shit. Oh, fine. I'll just carry you the rest of the way.
You're not going to be over... Well, that's a Bacoblin big bastard. Hmm. One second. Let's see. I don't see, like, a camera function for it, though. Yeah. So I don't th I don't think I have a camera function. I was going to take a picture of the big bastard, but we can't. I have your friend. Your friend is mine. Hey, there you go. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I really worry that, like, the seed cost will be a million times what it was if it's being so like, ah, oh, here, have a lot of seeds. But yeah, there's just... Why are you like, what? I'm all the way over here. Freak. And of course you're up here. Addison, I have no idea what you're doing, but I'll help you. What? Why did a noise happen? Wearing it down? Or... Oh, I was probably supposed to use that to... Well... Oh. Ah, well, we'll get that chest in a moment. I have to help Addison. Yeah, fear for your life, Addison. One thing I kind of dislike is sometimes the game doesn't really like sink into the ground. Okay. Ah! You can let Hudson down. He'll stand on his own. Mm -hmm. These are neat materials. Ah! I really like them. Mm. That is really neat material. Ah! That just sinks into ground. Weird place for you to be, Addison, but I will take your money. I will take your... <laughs> I will take your rice balls. And another posh room. You are doing drugs. Eternally drugs. Oh, they got moved over a bit. What do you mean I can't? Um, did moving them break them? Oh, I have to move the spike. That would have killed me. I guess if the spike is in the ground, it demands that I do specific things. Alright, so... These are very cool additions. Sink into the ground spikes. Give me my treasure. 
I'll always take some Zonai charges. Okay. Oh, I, I guess I should do the shrine. I was just like, oh yeah, this is a place of health and helping. No, it, there's a mon- Monsters have overrun this base. Great. Just great. So I guess it wasn't other people activating the, like, shooty-shoot part of the towers and, like, Gondor calls for aid, no. It was just a normal automatic function. What will this be? A fixed device. Hmm. Well, I... I don't know it. And it doesn't look like I can grab the spike that's elsewhere. Yeah, the physics did not like that for a moment. Excuse me, I'll just yoink this. Yoinky spoinky. Alright, so we want to hit that, I guess. Well, darn it, why is there holes? This is ping pong. Why does there have to be holes of doom? <laughs> of you is. Uh... Oh, maybe if I hit that, something will happen. Show to me your secrets. <laughs> ah, we have to make our own flipper. Gotcha. <laughs> Completely gotcha. This is like a ping pong. Okay, because we basically want to. It to go that away. All right, hit it. Will this flick it? Did not indeed. Dang it. I was trying to get a look around. Make it really long. I killed myself. Murder by ping pong. 
I think that actually killed me. Luckily, it saved this. What happens if I hit? <laughs> hmm, so I think really the secret is have this be. Should be able to. Do that, I think. Nope, that'll just annihilate that one. Try this. Go for it. Damn it. How'd that not hit the ball? I guess it just goes right through because it's hmm, understandable. not count? What if I just sent it flying by myself? Again, I'll go up there because it'll probably try to annihilate me. wrap my brain around how I'm really... Maybe I'm supposed to use the platform? 
instead as like a big paddle or maybe use it as a guiding thing like maybe I'm supposed to set that in There we go. And that's going to open up surprise other one. Yep. Like with this one, we'll just use this to link it up here probably. Well, they got it hooked up there anyway. Oh, never mind. Oh, that works. Perfect. Okay. Now, once to put it like there, I presume. Right, you damn ball. Darn it. Okay, big closer. That's completely the wrong direction. Maybe we don't need to stop it at all. Darn. Yeah, so I probably don't even need to really be down here for this one. This one's more like timing. Create it and go. Although... My, like... Help you move along the way thing probably isn't too helpful. Yeet! One way to do it, I guess. Completely the wrong way. Maybe if I catch it... Almost. Maybe if I added the other one, I could send it super flying. Maybe I do need to add the other one. <laughs> Let's make it go yeet. Almost. Ah, oh, but it broke off. Like creating a custom made yeet device almost worked. Get yote! <laughs> that works! 
So I was probably just doing it wrong the entire time. I think this is like the trial that has done the most damage to me. Due to my own incompetence. And being just clotheslined by a ping pong flapper. That was pretty fun, despite my stupidity. Do -do -do -do. Cause now we need to invade that invaded outpost for map power. How'd that even happen? The goblins and stuff actually friggin' Came in and s saw like a big old place. Is like I want to live there. Meah! Took over. All right, this will be an adventure, I guess. You do a lot of damage, you bastard. Do I have any small? I do. I really should cook up more food. I really should. Let's see, is there anything plentiful? I guess. <laughs> I have plenty of spicy peppers. That's big heavy thumps. Ah, crap. Oh, double crap. Triple crap. because this could easily go against me. Well, actually... Hope you're not... <laughs> Suck it, big boy. Utilize that. Oh, that was a thing to take. Oh, just a wooden. I mean, that's just like the beginning. Right, I thought that piece of geometry was a thing to pick up. Oh. use this to whack around these guys. Probably not. That'd be hilarious, though. Okay. No, no, no. Dang it. I wanted to play with the big bolt, spiky ball. Go back to sleep, and then I'll come in there and invade. And do major damage. It almost looked like they ate something to fall asleep, but they didn't. They just fell asleep. Yeah, it's just weird. Why would they set up a... Okay, so a lot of this is like... Some of it seems Bacoblin made. Uh, but obviously they set the big old, big old tower here. It's not what I wanted.
I fly away. Get smacked. How did I hit you while you were running away? <laughs> the ultimate combo. And now it's raining. The rain should obscure my walking. You're a heavily armored motherfucker. Why? I hate you, game. I hate you so much. You said sneak strike and then you said fuck you. Very rude. Now let's see. Drop that, grab this. Oh, is the big guy always going to be on my ass now? Why are you run away now? Oh, are you smart? Not even any rocks to pull from here. <laughs> right, you're gonna be. Uh, can I like throw you around, eat you? I'll deal with the big guy in a moment. <laughs> On you, ball. It's not like thundering, so it's not like I can. Lure the... Or, like, put a metal thing next to the metal guy and just let him explode. Oh, you respawn up here. Very weird. I hate you. Why, well, you just wake up randomly to bullshit. Fuck you. <laughs> Game. That's a very rude game. I guess maybe I could use electricity on him. So let's see, where is the electro stuff? <laughs> yeah, no I okay. I guess that wasn't the thing that was a dazzle, not an electro. Let's see. Maybe I could freeze him or bomb him. So I thought I had an electro fruit up here. Hmm. I could have sworn that I had like an electro plant, but I probably looked at the like dazzle fruit and thought, oh, that's the electro. Probably not. Can I get you around? I cannot. Hmm. Can I make you go backward? I cannot. Hmm. So yeah, no idea. Very rude for you to... Like, I guess I could try and throw the bombs at him. Very rude that I, like, was about to sneak attack him three times, and the game was like, lol, no. There we go. 
go. No armor for you. You have a big turn, asshole. Still kind of annoyed because just like armor guy, like they just randomly wake up for no reason. The stealth seemed better in Breath of the Wild so far. Because I'm just walking around normally and they're like, oh, we wake up for no reason. At least this means I should have get like all the resources I wasted back. Very interesting that the Bacoblins can wear armor now, even that makes them more annoying. Sneak him. Oh, I wonder if I could ultra hand the explosives onto him. Just bomb him from above. Oh, screw you, game. Like, screw you, game. Genuinely. Fuck off. That's so stupid. I was right behind him. I was about to hit the fucking button. And you're like, oh, he turns around now. Fuck you. It's like, Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to stealth this asshole. And you're like, eh, yeah, he looks around now. At least the Lizalfos on the tower in the forest. That made sense. Because he is meant to be like the lookout looking around. They don't exactly have their backs open to anything. So this guy just turning around for no reason is just stupid. Why then, game? Why then? No reason at all. Hate it. Hate it all. And I want to get that tower. Screw you. Quit making stealth unfun. Bad. Die. Oh, sudden restless cricket that I couldn't grab. But I don't like it when stealth is just like, lol, now you die. Which is basically what this is. Oh, lol, now your stealth failed. Why? Screw you. You have no reason to turn around right now. I am going very slow. For the love of God, don't turn around for no reason. There we go. And now I should do it as I probably should have done and save.
Mac. I shall torture you from afar. Your friends don't even know what's happening. I can just save and kill them one at a time this time. Because I have to, basically. Because at any point, the game could just go, And now they wake up. Why did they wake up? Because fuck you. The magical floating arrow. Because of magical floating geography. They are asleep. Do not notice me. There we go. A little weird that, like, you'd think that the UI would allow for both like, take and sneak strike to appear. It's like, oh, you could do either. I don't know. Alright. Come on, didn't mean to do that. Fall to your doom. Yeah, I see you. Try to get up here, big man. You're not meant to fall down here, are you? Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least I got damage off on him. And that's always the most important thing. If I wanted to, I could probably combine all of the explosives together. That would probably... Well, that was close. Yeah, I should probably move you over. Just wasn't looking where I was going. Because while I don't think I could take a hit from the Bacoblin King thing. I feel like I could... at the very least, deal with him. Do we have, like, an ice one instead, then? Can I combine a fight choo-choo jelly? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, take this. I will... I could lame you out with this. Maybe. Uh, but that would probably take a long time.
Alright, that should do a decent amount of damage to him. Alright, let's see. What's a good material to add to another Zonai? Because blue Bacoblin Horn is seven. I'll do a lot. Blue Bacoblin Horn? That's tempting. That's just three. That's not a lot. Horn is five. That's three. That's four. Hmm. I'll have a nightmare weapon. Yeah, because you're probably gonna be like, oh, I can't get up there. Teleport. Unless I'm here, then maybe you can teleport. Which would be kind of funny. Oh, nope, there we go. You know what? I hate you. Die. How did that not activate the others? Those headshots. Take a headshot. There we go. Boss Bacoblin Fang. Boss Bacoblin Horn that just looks like an axe. And Boss Bacoblin Guts. There we go. Boss Bacoblins. Nightmare. I reiterate, how the hell did Pura just allow this to happen? Did they just come up here, build the tower prefab? And then like, oops, monsters got in. That seems rather irresponsible. Well, up we go. <laughs> Link no longer shocked by it. He experiences it once. He's just like, eh, I can take it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Yeah, so there are big... Like, what are they called? Like, land graffiti. Booyah. Alright, so... The Great Plateau is there. Seems. Let's see. Yeah, what are those big markings? All right. Let's see. Oh, go down. So I don't look more. To the left. Kind of in the clouds, so it's hard to see. So first thing first, let's see. Edit to be tower. Oh, I wonder if they've... Nope, that's still... There's a... D. For a moment there, I thought, like, the Temple of Time was also gone. You know what? Hmm. I wonder if I can make it. I want to explore the Great Plateau. I want to see if the Shrine of Resurrection is still there. Here 
and there's like multiple chasms here. So the music when paragliding is super cool. The Great Plateau. Hello, world. We're back. This used to be like... Yeah, so a pile of gloom appeared, a chasm gloom, appeared right where a friggin' thing used to be. Oh, wonderful armor. You'll be mean. Alright, where's your friend? Alright. Now that's not the runes. <laughs> I keep thinking that pressing up is the runes, but it's not. All right, little little dude. We'll get there. What if I drowned you? But it's kind of horrifying that the goblins are learning to put on armor. And I guess, unless it's like a two-handed weapon. Okay, change to this. Okay, so Bacoblins have started their own society. Of shaken shit. Oh, never mind. That is a whole entire nightmare. I thought they were shaking the tree. No, the, the tree was a nightmare. Okay, because you said your friend was this way, right? Where's the green smoke? I can't see it in this forest. Oh, there we go. To the left. Grilled bananas here! Oh, oh no. I should have known. Why, the moment you said bananas, I should have known. And flavor like a dream, a little taste of heaven, if you know what I mean. Stop riding by a pear. I'll pass. Oh. What sort of icy heart does it take to turn down a hot, freshly grilled banana? Are you going to uh, be a lucky loo, or will you buy a banana or two? Just one bite and it all begins. I'll pass. There's only one place for those who deny the joys of grilled banana. <laughs> Beg for banana's forgiveness. Ah, the... Eightfold Blade. Ooh, yields more powerful sneak strikes than ordinary blades. That's nice to know. The moment that he frickin' said grilled banana, I should have known. Nobody in this universe talks about banana unless you're a demon. them all the way up there. So let's avoid the goblins. Oh man, why does it feel like this place has degraded more? What the fuck is that? Oh.
Hmm, could just be my... Just the, the vibes, but it honestly feels like... These places have degraded slightly more. Right, and I guess nobody can really get up here, but still. Yes, yes, we're heading to get your friend. Alright, a Sky Island block fell. I wonder if the Talus is still here. The old burnout fire from the hermit. From King Rome. Yep, okay, good, it is up here. I highly doubt that there's any other efficient way to get up here. There you go. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I had to fight a Yiga for him. Covered up. Oh. All right. Weird that there was a loopy up here. Very interesting to see how different it is. And again, what is with that? A big storm up there. Oh, what the? Eh? Eh? Alright. Okay. Oh, uh, we already did you. Okie dog. Those are things to note, but. What of you? Oh, we don't want to waste anything. Wait, what do you mean that I. Oh, I thought the Eightfold Blade and the Soldier's Broadsword were the same. Shrine of Resurrection really went to... to hell. How could it last a hundred years and then, like... Again, you're... Yeah. Yeah, see? And now I have no bows. Oh, so they still hear you. She had the... Where did all the... Sheikah tech go? Yeah, because there was a whole, like, divine... Yiga clan guy here? My behavior is a frick, what do you mean? My existence? Or is it because there's Yiga clan about? <laughs> the noble swordsman scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. You stumbled into our secret storehouse for treasures from the depths, and now that you've seen it, I can't let you live. Your life ends today! <laughs> Alright, you do a lot of damage. I really should have done more cooking. In fact, let me sort. That's very rude that they can hit me from so far away. But no wonder you're like, oh, your behavior is a threat. 
Well, this is interesting. Authorizer verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I will therefore continue to my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mined and processed there once. I have something for you, but I do not think you are ready to receive it. Please visit the great abandoned central mine in the depths and return hereafter. All right, interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> From YouTube, I have returned. Maha, <laughs> mighty potassium. Mighty potassium indeed. Of course the Yiga clan would somehow form a storehouse right where the Shrine of Resurrection used to be. And I guess that explains why I ran into a Yiga clan just wandering the Great Plateau. It's because they had a storehouse here. Just weird. Alright, but the game really wants me to go into the depth, so... I should try and find... <laughs> I almost jumped in there. I think, oh, maybe it'll heal me. Not realizing it'll probably kill me, too. Yeah, so... While it might not be the Shrine of Resurrection anymore, I can still heal. Well, let's see. Let's get to smacking. Still, it's just kind of sad. Like... Just like how much the shrines and Sheikah places just fell into disrepair after the calamity was sealed away. Getting lots of sticky lizards. I wonder if any Zonai shrines will have appeared. Very interesting to see how much this place has changed in, like, however long we've, A, been asleep, and then, B... Well, like, first, how long everything has been since the end of the Calamity, and then how long it's been since the, like, upheaval and we disappeared. Still no idea what the freaky mimic tree was about. <laughs> Temple of Time Ruins. Oh, I have no... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I can throw things, though. Let's see. Dang it. Double dang it. There we go. Everything continues to fall into disrepair. Well, you still exist. It would have been more, like, devastating in a way if somehow the gloom just sucked you under. The biggest gaudy goddess statue. I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. I am stabbed. Under the water at the gate? Interesting. I really need to go hunt some bacoblins for their bows. Because I've just used all of them on the bacoblin king thing. Oh, treasure chest. Don't think I ever came in here. But! But these days, it's more of a collector's item due to its orientation. Okay. 
wasn't expecting that. Also, just the fact that all of the Guardian ruins are also gone. Every... Almost... Uh, that's another armored jerk. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't think I would do good to fight you. Let's see. I do have a high damage weapon. Maybe the game didn't expect me to come here. So soon. Also, I just remembered when I was in the cave, I could have just used the... Like, uh... Could have just used the bubble ball. Oh, cool, that's neat. What? I'm trying to think, like, I was, could have just used the, uh, like, the, the room thing to go back up, but I didn't. Didn't think of it. Black Bacoblin Horn. Yeah, I don't think I want to be messing with black bacoblins. Interesting how the goddess statue said I am trapped behind the, like, gate water of the Great Plateau. If only the lightning would strike you down. Unless you mean in the great depths there. Of which I'm sorry, I don't think I can help you just yet. Which I do believe that's what she meant. I'll wander around a bit more. See if I can find, like, a shrine up here from the Zonai. Man, it's so weird. Moving around this place and none of the... Like, major markers exist anymore. Oh, ho, ho, I'm not dealing with you. That's a black one, I believe. I dealt with a blue. And it was kicking my ass. I do not want to deal with an extra tier nightmare demon. Just marking down all of... Shrines that I see. One place that I do know I want to... Alright, there are two places I want to check out. Alright, I thought that was going to be... A shrine, but it isn't. Hmm. And yet another place where a shrine was... Like a Sheikah shrine is now a hole to the the depths, I presume. Have the Yiga taken up over here too? Looks like it. They put a bunch of Sheikah Yiga stones. Hey, Farash. It's been like forever. the first dragon that I've seen that I noticed. Or, like, recognized. There's stuff going on over there. Very interesting. I wonder what the hell this is. How did it got here? What the fuck? What the fuck are you?! I know that you're like, a, like a reference to like the f one of the very first fucking Legend of Zelda NES bosses, but well, you are just too ornate to be a Yiga clan. What the hell? Or maybe you're all Yiga clan. Get your fashion fortune. I'm ready to murder you. 
stylish person. I can see it. I can see it. You there, I... I see the shadow of death upon your face. Ah, oh, you're eager, clan. Me, I'm a fashion fortune teller. Please, allow me to give you a ring. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if I may be so bold, looking at your outfit, yes, yes, I see. Mm -hmm. You are, yes, you are burdened with a mission of monumental importance. I sent some no no uh, sort of nobility, a swordsman serving a princess. And you use your power to crush the weak, to serve evil. Mm -hmm. You see, my fortune telling never fails. If you want to repay me, I'll take <laughs> your head. So they're all just Yiga clan in here. Let's see. Well. Oh. Fine. Neat. <laughs> Dang it. I was too distracted by, like, oh, hey, feature. Luckily, I have a bunch of peppers. What I was going to do is I was going to change to this. Let's see. Is there anything I want to trade an eightfold blade for? I guess if I just want to get a bunch of eightfold blades, this is the place. Very rude of them to have taken over King Rome's like wooden house. So basically every single person I meet up here is gonna be an asshole. I presume pain. If I drop apples here, will you actually be a thing? Or do I need to drop bananas for you? Since you know you're Yika clan. But I see offering bowls. Uh, maybe they want bananas. Like, seriously, why is this place so fortified? Do they want just, like, nobody to get here? Because this is where the spirit of King Rome went about? The spikes are all in place. But do we really need all this? It's not like anybody ever comes through here. <clears throat> We're not on the lookout for anybody. We're on the lookout for Link. That guy's trouble, and he's got a bad habit of showing up where you least expect him. We can never be too careful. Mm. We just received a regular memo from the hideout. A journal containing confidential information. A memo from the hideout, journal containing information. It's for ye guys only. We cannot allow it to fall into enemy hands. Let's see what will happen again. Hey. Yeah, it's basically Ooh. the same thing. Mm. The problem is, I don't think I'm set for... Like, I, I don't think they'd even let me in. Hmm. You think? Think you thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're getting the one getting ambushed today. <laughs> oops, oops. <laughs> Hope that's not good. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, thick. It's not good at all. And I don't really have anything super duper good. Let's see. Kill fruit. I don't even know if this is, like, a place we're meant to come to later. Oh, Jesus. I was just coming here by personal will. Oh, fuck you. You 
dare hit me while I'm doing things? Very rude. That's not what I want. I'll keep... <laughs> I'll cheese you to death. Eightfold Long Blade. When wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Let's see. Let me go! I'm working as fast as I can. Please, just give me a little more time. Wait, you're not one of them. Uh? You chased off the Yiga clan. You mean I can get out of here? Uh. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for the flashy fashion. I only let Sissy brand threads touch this body. Hmm. I don't want this mask I made fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you like to take this? Yiga Clan Mask. A mask supplied to members of the Yiga Clan. It covers the entire face, keeping even breath sound to a minimum. Perfect for sneaking, but lacks protection due to its light material. Hmm. Ah. That thing is decidedly not my style, but it's yours. More power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful with a fashion sense that rivals my own. Okay, I kind of like that the mannequin has pointed ears. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think, maybe. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be, so I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find someone to love, too. And now let's read this. My Yiga Bulletin. Confidential updates from the hideout. Item 1. Our research division has developed new vehicles. The Gloom Dredger and Hover Doom Mark III. If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2. It is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. Addendum. The earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. Still, kind of sad that Rome's place became a hideout for evil. But hey, I got a Yiga mask, which I guess will allow me to sneak around like Yiga in the depths. Or maybe if I wear it and talk to a Yiga who is out in the out and about, maybe that'll let me be like get some information from him. Like I wonder. You're probably also Yiga Clan. Ah. Excuse me. I'd heard the Yiga Clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important I give it a wide berth. Do you know the Yiga Clan or this nefarious branch of this? I'm familiar. Ah. I would luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Luckier still, I have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right here and... Ah. I'll take your head. Nope, can't <laughs> get some fun conversation with him. Maybe it's because I don't have the right tuft. Get bludgeoned to death by a rock. But there's one more place that I want to check out before we really evacuate this place. Head back to the main stable, see if we can talk to Josha. Because I think I know where King Rome's gravesite is. Because when I was replaying a bits of Breath of the Wild to do research on the Rito, so I could get, like, information of dialogue that only happens before you do Vometto 
and get various dynamic dialogue afterwards to gauge, like, the character of the... of, like, the various Rito characters. I wonder if I can even climb this because of the big lip. I don't think I can. But I do think I see one place. Oh, there we go. I want to see if there's anything special up here. There's a chest. Would be mean if there was a Yiga inside it just waiting. <laughs> nostalgic fabric. Both fabric bearing a nostalgic design. Oh, tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Do you mean that I could make multiple paragliders? Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, it seems like there's ax like gloom death things at every point where there was a shrine in Breath of the Wild. That has horrifying implications. I like the power. <laughs> Honestly, though, I would be more terrified of the gloom taking up the place of the like uh Sheikah Towers but I want to see I have no bow and I must scream I don't I think they made new like snow effect I don't remember this kind of snow appearing in Breath of the Wild I like it. But we're gonna go, because I want to see. Because... Alright, we are definitely not messing with you. I don't want to mess with a moblin without a bow. Much less, apparently, a black moblin. Yeah, while I was uh, doing a playthrough of Breath of the Wild to gather more information on the Rito firsthand and really pay attention to it all, I believe that I climbed a mountain that had King Rome's grave. Nope. I'm not dealing with you. And I want to see if I can, like, go pay my respects. Oh, I definitely don't want to mess a few out, a bow. Without a bow, I don't want to get caught in your big explosion. Oh, great. They have giant... Why am I doing this without... Oh, yeah, there it is. At the toppest, tippity's toppest peak. Bunch of high level monsters crowding around. I just want to say hi to it. A little bit sad that there isn't any, or at least that I saw no, like, obvious shrines up here. I forget, did I mark you? I did. Just wanted to triple check. Did I also mark you? Just want to triple check everything that I did. But this, I do believe, is King Rome's grave. I'm going to leave that claymore there. You keep rocking it, King Rome. Oh, you didn't get the character... Like, development of your... 
Age of Calamity counterparts. I think you were a cool dude. Alright. Now we're gonna head this way to... get to the... the stable. Activate the shrine. Teleport back to... here, talk to Josha, and I think that might do it. Oh, man. The Great Plateau feels so different. <laughs> it went from being the tutorial area to feeling like a late game location that you're not really meant to go to as early as I am. Also interesting how different the paraglider is. That one's like... Seems to be, like, made out of monster bones. For some reason. And it'd be raining. Well, I guess we could hitch a ride on you. I have the paraglider, so... It's not like any fall from you will be lethal unless I'm dumb. Alright, I keep forgetting that's not the way. All right, up we go. Where did you fall from? Is there gonna be enough rewind to get to where you fell from? I don't think there is. Okay, so you fell from such a distance that, uh... Alright. Hmm. How many rupees do I have? I guess we could have... Hmm. Well, since it's right next to a... Wait! Shrine. Two shrines. Alright, I'll activate, go there, activate, go to stable. Well, actually, uh, there, climb there, maybe gaze inside if there's anything weird in the Colosseum. Then s shrine stable. Oh, hello, Wizrobe. Hello, the. Hello, like, like. Oh, and you're not a. You're like a thunder robe. Oh boy. Alright, we'll activate you just to have you activated. Alright, we're gonna have to climb this and flee the, uh, like a powered up whiz robe. That is not a electro. That's like, maybe it's an electro robe. But, like, it's not... Yeah, shit. I don't even have a bow to deal with you. I do not want to deal with you. I don't think I ever did deal with any of you. Oh, Hylian Tomato. You're new. Coal, uh... Fruit widely from cold areas to warm climates. From cold areas to warm climates. So it's basically everywhere. Full of nutrition and kind of trendy lately. Use it in cookie to recover more hearts. Neat. I don't even think I fought a advanced Wizrobe outside of uh, Age of Calamity or the uh, Sword Trials. Those are the only places that I fought advanced Wizrobes, and even then I cheesed the advanced whiz robes in the ch the sword trial with uh by blasting them into the depths elsewise uh once i discovered their weakness i started just elementally one tapping most whiz robes if applicable like if there's a fire one i shot it with ice and it went poof if there was an ice one i shot it with fire it went poof not sure about electricity Nice.
noise? Music? Are you the... I love a good ring. Are you the... Bolson Company? Yeah. Nope, you look like him. Hey, I made myself quite the tower, eh? Just look at it. Oh. And I put a bell up, and I put that bell right on top. Why, you ask? Because I thought up a new game. A test of strength. Want to give it a go? Test of oh. strength. Yep, your goal is to make the bell at the top of this here tower ring as loud as you can. Throw something at it with as much force as you can. Do that, and the bell will answer. Oh. You're welcome to all the stuff over there. Some of it's left over from when I built the tower. And some of it's just some weird junk I didn't really know what to do with. Anyway, you can use whatever you want. Oh. Once you ring the bell, the game ends, and you'll only get one ring per round. Yeah, also, uh, I built this ring all on my own, and parts ain't cheap, so I gotta charge you a fee, you get it? <laughs> no thanks, huh? Oh. Well, you can come back if you feel like giving the bell a good whack. Eventually. I guess I'll set that there, because... Thanks, sorry to make you sad, but... Need to have, like, different music play, though. All right, so you... You're everywhere. That's fun. It, instead of Lionel's, we have something even more horrifying. King Ghidorah. What fun. Now I just realized if I did both of these, I'd get two hearts. I'll activate them because, uh... We're kind of running low on time. We've been going for a bit. We'll definitely come back and do them since we can just teleport to them. Now, the fact that you're spewing out poison and that you moved. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'll use heart since that's kind of what they're all about. Oh, hey. Oh, we should talk to everybody. Oh, you sure do a lot of traveling. You're the real deal. Ta -ta. Well, what do you got? You got tomatoes. <laughs> we glance around, talk to everybody. Oh, oh, a traveler. Hello. Oh. Things are a bit of a mess around here. If you need to use the stable, you can check in at the counter. Oh, but if you have questions about routes through the area, then I'm the guide for you. If you're passing through here, then you must be heading to Gerudo Town, right? Allow me to offer information about my regional recommendations, free of charge. Oh. If it's Gerudo Town you want, then the safest route across is Dig Dog Bridge. To get there, head right when you leave the stable, then take another right at the three-way intersection. A massive Zonai ruin fell near the bridge. That place is swarming of researchers. You can't miss it. Mm. Well, you'll have to get through the desert to reach Gerudo Town. I've heard an enormous sand shroud has blown in, and they're locked down tight. Mm. Uh, I'm finally uh, back to doing the work I enjoy. But don't worry, my humble guiding services are still available. Is there anything else? Recommendations? Mm. Well then, have you heard about the Colosseum Ruins? <laughs> You're gonna recommend I go there? There's a three-headed dragon! King Ghidorah's in there! To get to those ruins, uh, first face directly away from the front of the stable. Then take a look at the mountain that's somewhat off to your right. You'll find the ruins by crossing over it. Mm. When you stand right in the middle of the strange circular ruins and close your eyes, something happens. You can hear the cry, battle cry of those powerful soldiers testing their strength long, oh. long ago. Hearing that, you can't help feeling a rush of adventure. I highly recommend going to those ruins. Be warned, a truly vicious monster has settled there. You'll probably end up testing your strength against it. Well, at least he said something. Hmm. Well, it seems to go all the way down, so... We can go into the well. As long as there is a ladder. Then again, I also have my, like, zip zoop to get out of wells. Oh, new f new thing! <laughs> it gives a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Weather quality, fair, moss growth, extensive, bright caps, present. All right, that's everything all jotted down. Uh -huh. 
Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course. Mom. I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. <laughs> Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well, enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well is that yeah. is. My dream is to travel th around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient text I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 uh. wells. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest on wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you know? Uh, tell me any well locations uh. you know of? I'll reward you, of course. Hmm. Does 10 rupees per location sound good? Sure. <gasps> All right, then tell me everything. I know these wells. Ma. Thanks, so five of them this time. I'll give you ten rupees per location. That's fifty rupees total, all yours. Neat. <laughs> There's still a total of fifty-three to find. Oh. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course, but even more wells. Those used to be in distant past exist within <laughs> ruins. Just imagine they were a crucial part of life in that time. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm going to look out landing next. There's a well there I want to see. See if you learn more well locations. Meet me there. See you around. That's cool. So wells are kind of a collectible. <laughs> Sticky frog. I definitely want to grab these fairies because they give uh, extra life if you die. So underneath the new fairy fountains are where the fairies are now. Well, I guess fairy fountain, there needs to be fairy wells. <laughs> I'll take luminous stones. You know, the Luminous outfit that I think existed in Breath of the Wild would be a lot handier in this game. Because of the dark depth areas. But yeah, I'm really digging just how different Tears of the Kingdom is from Breath of the Wild, even though they're very similar. For a moment there, I thought she locked me in by putting a board over me. That would have been hilarious. I keep forgetting I can just... But I didn't. I'm still sad that Cass isn't in this game playing songs at the stables. Ah, what's the lucky clover gazette covering in this edition? What's the news? <laughs> great fairies flee in flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. Oh. I'd heard a musical troupe was heading to Elden in the northeast. I wonder if they're planning to visit Woodland Stable. I bet there's a lot of going on there, too. Mm. Unless there's that rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. Hopefully the great fairy near here emerges someday. Ah. I always read every uh, word of these newspapers. Other stories? Oh. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers, on nights when a Blood Moon rises, so too do monsters that have been defeated. Mm. It reminds me of that researcher who was studying the Blood Moon before. They were excited to visit a monster fort and see what they could learn about the monsters on the Blood Moon. Did he die? They didn't seem all that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Ah. But I wonder if they're understaffed. Maybe I should consider becoming a journalist. Ah. Why is, yeah, why is there a big thing created? <gasps> ah, you startled me. Um, this is outskirts stable and, uh, oh wait, I forgot to say welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I have something on my mind. When you came to, up to me, I panicked. What's on your mind? Mm. You see, this stage is where the stable trotters perform. We're used to. They've been on a break for a while. Seems like there was some sort of trouble. Mm. The band leader said they were going to Woodland Stable in Eldon to the northeast, but they haven't returned since. I keep wondering when they'll come back. It's got me so worked up I can't focus on my ah. work. But I have to keep sweeping on the on when the day finally comes. The place looks nice and tidy. All right, so they play a big role. Hello, Gerudo. How you doing? Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off on search for Vo. I want to put all our Vo and you lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. 
Oh, but that reminds me. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a foe in the outside world. They called him a hero. Ah. A hero, huh? I bet he's a strong foe who's taller than us, even. Man, you're gonna be disappointed. Okay, I'm going to take him out. <gasps> you mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be ev the one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize Ooh. him? Oh, the legendary sword. Now I remember the hero is carrying the legendary sword. Mm. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what is the legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called legendary, then it's probably glows or something? <laughs> oh, maybe it's really tall, taller than us even, if we're standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. Oh, that sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier just to launch a surprise attack. If we were really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. <sighs> Risa, you have to stop referring to Vos as targets. That's cool. The Vo and you ladies have returned. Yeah, I should probably teleport back. Definitely avoid the... Why is... Where do these three-headed dragon things even come from? I've seen two. One was on the bridge over H Lake Hylia, and one is now in the frickin' place. Great Fairies can enhance... Protect you against vicious enemy attacks. Am I right? Probably should awaken the one near the stable once I get some money. But I want to see if the one near... Ah! Ah! Nurito just dropped! Nurito just dropped! Hello! Pelican man! Nurito just dropped! Kinda stole my color scheme. Ah. Well, look at this! You're the one I saw flying around the sky! It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a sky tower! A real historic moment! Hey, what's your name? I'm Link. Hmm. Link, you say? Hold on there! Really, your name is Link? Hey, buddy! You got the same name as the famous swordsman! Ha! <laughs> Good for you! Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Pin, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm working on an article about this event. So folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. Yeah, I'd be get I better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all that. Let's see. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to the Rio village. Guess that makes sense. The Lucky Clover Gazette would be set up near the bird place, and then a bird would be the one kind of going about delivering it, even. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of the lifetime. And the newspaper bees. Until then. Bye. So long! Yeah, sure. Rito can't fly. They can only glide. Sure, whatever you say, lore. Hmm. Hiya, Linky. Popping a bye to make an appearance. I don't see any visible injuries, so you must be holding up okay out there. Have you made any progress on visiting the four regions like I asked? Not yet. There's another village that might yield more answers, so I'm directing an investigation into what's going on there. What other village? Mm -hmm. Kakrika village, home of the Sheikah tribe. Oh, I just want to make sure. Stone eye ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell on directly on top of the village. Mm. There's got to be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai survey team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want more info, <gasps> talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. I think I already did. Yeah, he helps us uh, deploy the monster control crew squads to where they're needed in the extensive geographical knowledge. He can tell you more than I can about the various regions mm. of peoples. Anyway, I can get help from the research division for this. But I'm entrusting the investigation of the four regions of the phenomena to you. I shall go. Have you talked to Robbie yet? Oh, I need to do that. I'm leaving everything Purpad related to him. He was going on and on about ideas for improvements with it. This needs that, and this that needs this, and what have you. If you haven't run into him yet, you should go say hi. Ah, uh, what a fine afternoon. Oh, it's you! You know, that pearl pad of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I'll need to head back down to the lab when Josh has got the depths investigation sorted out. Aww. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. <sighs> no way, no how. You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. 
I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown so foul. If anything were to happen to Pearl's favorite student, I'd be it'd be the end of for me. The end! <sighs> but I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? <gasps> oh, Swordsman, sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Josha, head of the depths research. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Oh, the Poe statue? Oh, different one. This piece of slate, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs if one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. A game theory! <laughs> From your Twitch chat. Oh, hey, I can actually join a stream again now because I've actually played this game and can't be spoiled for anything. That is a mood when watching content. It's like, can I afford to be spoiled by this or not? <laughs> I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. What about the statue uh -huh. that says Pose? But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Josha, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about the figure on that slate. Whoa. And Link will join me! We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles that figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. Camera? Yeah, I don't have a camera anymore, Robbie. It all died. Oh? You don't know about the camera? It's one of Purapad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image, one that's stored in your pad there. <sighs> Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Purapad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Oh. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of the lookout landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. <sighs> Ta-ta! <gasps> Wait, hang on! He rushed off, didn't he? Hmm. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry he got roped into all this swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants uh, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Nice. I need a bow. Oh, and take this too. I don't need arrows, I need a bow! Um, the chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright blue seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trip down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out and out of look, uh, Lookout Landing's southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. I also need to find some bows. Oh, a new character profile added. A young scientist who de whose genius earned her the role of heading up Depth's research. Josha finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the Depths. An engineer whose eccentric style adds a lot to his reputation as a wild genius. He once helped Link from his research facility at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Since then, he's moved to the Hatino Ancient Lab to help Pura develop the Pura Pad. Robbie thinks he did much of the work on the device, so he's a bit grumbly that it's not named after him. Yeah, we already invited you. Yep, Zelda being out there. Yeah, I think I went down you. I think. I really like the music. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna head down here to see if there's any free bows, because I definitely need... Darn it, doesn't look like there's a free bow. Oh, hello, Graylands. Oh. Hello, and thank you for your hard work, Link. I appreciate you taking the time to visit the Monster Control HQ. Recently, Pura asked that we suspend our involvement in the search for Princess Zelda. So we've resumed our primary mission to hunt down the monsters that have been running rampant since the upheaval. All three squads are out hunting monsters and gathering information about recent large monster sightings. They've been sharing updates with us. Oh. Haas's squad, Torrin's squad, and Flaxel's squad of the monster control crew are taking down monsters all across Hyrule. Oh. 
Hansa squad found victory at Hyrule Field and moved on to the monsters in Nekluda. They plan to launch an attack on the monsters maintaining a barrier at Fort Hatino, due east of Dueling Peak Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. One no? Florence. Uh... Torin's squad is on the north side of Death Mountain in Elden. They're heading for a cave discovered at Lake Darman, which used to be a lava lake but has since stopped flowing. They're taking out the monsters nesting in the cave, so if you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Oh. Flaxel's squad is hunting monsters in Farrens to the south. They're aiming to subdue the pirate ship on the Minot River to the south lake of Hylia, which is west of Highland Stable. If you see them there, do me a favor and help them out, please. Oh. Big monsters? Oh. I've heard tell of a number of large monsters. Oh. Our comrades out on a survey in Akala reported an attack by a talus. A talus looks like a giant mobile pile of angry rocks hard to miss. With our current weapons, we wouldn't be able to put a scratch on that thing. Ah! Neat. Oh. Hennox. Mm. Recently, there were some travelers passing by Trilby Plain near Woodland Stable in Northeast Hyrule Field. Their intel confirmed a sighting of a Hennox in the area. Hennox are huge, one-eyed beasts. They are incredibly strong. So strong, in fact, that they wield trees as weapons. We'd go after it, but with that kind of strength, we've been over our heads in a real situation. Oh. Malduga. Uh. I have a report saying that a Malduga was discovered in the East Barrens in the Gerudo Desert. The report came from a ground research team, and they've asked us to exterminate it. A Malduga is a terrifying beast that swims through the sand like a fish. We'd go after it, but we don't have the means to tackle a monster that burrows in the sand like that. I have no idea how I deal with it. I don't have my bombs anymore. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. All of the tools we might have used in the battle are decayed and useless now. Despite that, we're all doing what we can. If you ever run into anyone from the monster control crew during your travels, I'd appreciate you lending a hand. Actually, come to think of it, I could just maybe grind out some bows on the... Like, uh... Great Sky Island. Because those were easy to take down. Booyah! My first upgrade after jumping from the Sky Island. Yolinka, some of the soldiers were just telling me. As a simple man from Luralin, I'm a little starstruck. We don't see a lot of celebrities back home. Oh. Luralin Village, it's a fishing town in eastern Nekluda, far to the southeast. Used to be a popular resort thanks to its sandy white beaches and gorgeous views of the sparkling sea. Mm. Then we got attacked by pirates. Now no one's living there, let alone running the shops. But listen to me getting all gloomy. There's an upside. If not for the pirates, my wife and I wouldn't have come here. I should just shut my trap and enjoy the charms of Lookout uh -huh. Landing. Birds, you believe that? In my village, you couldn't find these anywhere but at the end. That's kind of sad. Mm -hmm. Now on, this place is the royal family's shelter, so they'd probably have hidden a pathway. Even so. Keep forgetting that stuff. Keep forgetting that's not. <laughs> I'm so used to changing the runes through that. But yeah, more than likely I'll have to grab bows from the Sky Island. I don't see any available bows just lying around. Not too many, like, Bacoblin camps seem available for just grabbing... Oh, it was a horse. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work, right? Now? Oh, hey, you're the guy that was also always with Bolson. Uh? Link! Wow, what a relief! I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been, anyway? Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. Oh. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini-stable and look out landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. 
The project would likely take me a while to complete, oh. but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Thank you, Carson. Ah. It's still gonna be a while before I can complete the mini stable. Things need to be just so for Lester, who's here to take care of the horses. So if the design isn't perfect, I'll get an air fill from him. Cool. Took me a moment to recognize him. Okay, torch. Oh, that's cool. They actually have our picture here. Probably be like, hey, be on the lookout for them. They're important characters. These are important people. Hmm. I guess I'll just come back here to try and grab some bows. If, even if only two. Two bows would be good. And then I'd be ready to go down to the depths and then I'll basically have to just pull myself away from spamming bows at enemies and instead try to actually fight them normally. But now that I have my glider, I shouldn't have to worry for shit. I'm just trying to think where enemies were. Think where enemies were. <laughs> and if I come down here, no Rauru. Kind of sad. <laughs> oh, I can just maybe grab a bow from him. That'll be one at least. Then no idea when the bows, like, respawn up here. And it's an old wooden bow, though. So it wouldn't last too long. thing. That's such a cool power, man. Like, I do miss the bombs, but I will take the ultra. Oh, the... I was like, what's that noise? It is your average noise of the... the chime. Take out a few enemies to get their materials, hopefully some with bows. at least a few wooden bows which I do not mind taking so if I ever run low on bows I can always just come here Assassinate a motherfucker, do it well. Go ahead and take this stone axe. And let's see, how many bows do I have? I have four bows. And since I'm gonna try and conserve them, 
I'll come... Well, I guess actually I'll... Teleport here so that we can begin... Next time by doing these two shrines. Which then teleport back to the lookout. Get another heart. And then go into the depths for the first time. Which will be the perfect thing. Also, I gotta say... I really like how the map is on the loading screen and it changes to where you're going when you're fast traveling. It's super cool. I really do appreciate that. And another thing we definitely need to do is we need to find Hestu. I don't know where he is. Or actually, hmm, okay. Plan for next time is do these two shrines, get an upgrade from the goddess statue, Head to Kakariko Village just to feel out what's happening there. Go by the Dueling Peaks, like, stable and everything. And then go into the depths. That'll be the plan. Let me just double check. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. <laughs> Hestu is in our hearts. He's out there somewhere. He's out there somewhere. With his maracas and dancing. Probably in the, uh... Korok Forest, which will probably still be an even greater pain to get through, maybe. <laughs> but that shall be it for now. Tears of the Kingdom is a lot of fun. I just, I continually use, it. this seems to be the game that will be getting me into five hour streams because it just is very fun to do. There's a lot to do. It's very exciting. It's new. It's very fun. I mostly paused because I worried that it might thunder and blast me out of nowhere. And I, <laughs> I don't even know if I have anything that's, like, metallic equipped, but meh. But, yeah, the game is very fun. There's a lot to it. It, it definitely feels like an expanded Breath of the Wild. And honestly, if what is... Like, uh, rumored that this was... Or, like, maybe not even rumored, but if, if it's true that this was going to be an expansion for Breath of the Wild, that it just ballooned and ballooned and ballooned and became its own thing, Jesus Christ, how would that have even been implemented into Breath of the Wild? Yeah, because just, like, they've added so much, it's so good. It's so, so good. I like how you don't really have elemental arrows, you just equip different things to the arrows... Which, true, could make it a little bit bothersome as you go again and again and again, but it also takes out the worrying of having to manage and find specific arrows. I like the combining feature, the Ultra Hand just in general, the new runes, even though they're not runes, they're Ultra Hand powers, it's super cool. The designs of the shrine so far have been really good, even if the Ping Pong one kicked my ass. Or not Ping Pong, Pinball, that's what it is. I kept calling it Ping Pong because I'm a fool. To my knowledge, Tears of the Kingdom started as a DLC, and then they just thought, okay, we're aiming for a lot, let's just make it a sequel. That's what I heard, too. And it definitely feels like it. And the fact that there's, like, Sky Islands and Depths and the old, like, I, it's, it's very weird. When I Before I played this game, some people are like, oh, they just have you, like, explore Hyrule again, and it's, like, very much the same. Are you kidding me? I wandered around, like, the only place that seemed very, very similar so far was the Great Plateau. And even then, it is very, very different. With a lot of scary monsters and mimic trees that I decided not to mess with. <laughs> Maybe later. But this game, utterly fantastic. Can't wait to play more. The next time we stream should be on Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. And yeah, we are definitely continuing this because this is amazing. This is great. Next time again, do two shrines, go to Kakariko Village through the tw Twin Peaks Pass, then head to the depths. And I do believe that that shall be that for now. Thank you very much for spending some time with me tonight, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, or direct links in the various bios descriptions and link places of the various sites, has links to everything that I do, like edited content YouTube, streaming on Twitch or YouTube, uploading art or writing to various sites, because art and writing is fun, and then, of course, my Patreon is linked in there as a glorified donation bucket for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me tonight, everybody. Bye, bye.